At ease, pole sharks. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome back. Congratulations on making it to yet another awesome and epic so cool. Sunday. Hello. Welcome in. Hi, Thrash. Welcome in. Hi. How's it going? How are you? How are you, puppy? Puppy dog? Today's not a holiday. I'm looking at my calendar. Today's not a holiday. Tomorrow's a holiday. President's Day. Or Family Day if you live in Canada. Hello. Welcome in. How's it going? Thank you for the head pads, Blues. Did those, did those go off? I was looking away the entire time. Did that go off? <laughs> Thank you, regardless. I'm sure Thrash enjoyed them if I did not. Welcome in. Welcome in, Blues. Welcome in, Foe. Welcome in, Calamarici. Ishi Ishi. Welcome in. How's it going? I love Rent-A-Hero. I'm so excited to be back in Rent-A-Hero. <laughs> it's such a cool game. I can't help it. I can't help but enjoy this awesome and cool video game. How are you guys doing? How's your Sunday? Did you get off to a strong start today? Did you jump up out of bed as soon as you woke up? You strapped on your boots and went to work and worked hard on your dreams and your ab ambitions and everything in life? I had a I had a uh, raviolis today. <laughs> that's that's my day. That's my day for you. Um, I woke up. I slunked out of bed eventually. I had some Chef Boyardee, and that's my life. That's my life. Hi. <laughs> hey, somewhere. Welcome in. It's Sunday, so no. Yeah. No, Sunday's not meant to be a productive day. At least as far as, like, the man upstairs is concerned. We should take Sunday as a day to do what we truly want. And what I want to do is play Rent-A-Hero. I want to draw some more, too. But we'll get to that if we can get to that later today, possibly. You never know. 24 hours is a lot of hours to work with. But, um, we're already more than halfway through that, so who knows? Guys, I drew last night. Would you like to see... Would you like to see the drawing that I drew last night? I think it turned out pretty good. I'm going to assume you're all clamoring, you're smashing the hype react, you're saying yes, 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 please, please, I can't wait another moment. So here you go, another one from my um, my dragon dress line of VTuber oomphies. Uh, this is Prismae, or Mika, if you know her. If you know her, she's cool. She does lots of fun streams. She's very crass and cool and I like that about her um so I had to draw her in her awesome and cool kipao or changsem I forget I forget what the other term was called <laughs> but kipao that's what I'm rolling with I'll, I'll educate myself even more as the year goes on and I draw even more beautiful people in awesome and cool fashion hi mage drag and dress true true <laughs> we're always about dragging we're always about dressing and um etc etc you guys remember that iconic meme image art piece going around a long time ago that they were like it was a dragon ball thing and krillin and gohan were like watch out frieza's got the dragon balls and they drew frieza and his testicles were dragging across the ground wasn't that funny? Wasn't that good? Didn't that make you chortle and chuckle and laugh in the year 2008, maybe? You've never seen that? Mage, you're missing out. You're missing out, buddy. <laughs> there's, a there's a lot on the big internet that you could go and find if you're willing to search for it. Is that like Tony Tony Chopper's hypercock? No. No, it wasn't an edit. It wasn't a screenshot edit. They were just—they just drew Frieza, and he had a very grumpy face, and he had long balls that were dragging across the ground. Hence, dragon balls. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? That's crazy. I thought that was all over the place. I thought that was all the rage. I thought everybody loved all the Dragon Ball memes back in the day. One Piece cock edits are very funny, though. They always pick, like, such unflattering angles for people to just have a heart on it's very bizarre there's fucking like one with trafagar law and he's like just sitting there with his fingers like dwindled together but also his cocks coming in between them <laughs> it's messed up it's messed up i've seen frieza's dragon balls by googling it congrats do you feel better now hi lofki welcome in 
we've we've got off to a really unhinged start of the, the start of the stream, I would say. But I hope you're doing well, Lofty. I hope you're having a nice day. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of insane and don't have a filter. So if you don't stop me, I will just talk about nonsense all the time. That's something very important that we have to keep in mind. That we have to remember is that G pool is very mentally broken and mentally unstable and I will just say the most inane shit because it doesn't affect me anymore. <laughs> I've seen many DB memes but Dragon Balls never came across your screen. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of good ones out there. There was Dragon's Ball P. That was epic. They made funny faces and sounds. And then they made Dragon's Ball PP, and that was even more epic and more funnier with even more funny faces and sounds. I like Oni and G though. I think he's silly. I don't really... He's supposed to be making a game, I think, but it seems like it's been a long time since we've heard anything on that one. Okay, I have now seen the Dragon's Ball meme. <laughs> Thanks for that, I guess. Hey, Teru, happy, to, happy you're here. Happy to have you. Just glad to help out. Happy to spread the word, you know. Um, sounds very cool, very fun. Welcome in, by the way. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're all having a nice Sunday. I was really, like, tempted to go back and just stream more um, Symphony of the Night yesterday. I really wanted to just bash my head at that fucking super boss more. I've already forgotten his name, but I really wanted to keep hitting my head at him until I defeated him. I, uh, what, what, somebody remind me of his cool and awesome name, please. <laughs> FF7 Rebirth is out in two weeks, so we won't see. Gallimoth, thank you. Gallimoth. FF7 Rebirth is out in two weeks, so we won't see any progress for a bit. True. True. He loves Final Fantasy VII. That's his character trope. Oni and G loves Final Fantasy VII. I know. I, I used to be super duper into those, into those guys. Like... I've listened to the Sleepy Cabin podcast so many times. They're just like interesting and funny and they have a lot of life stories and they're just goofy animator pals. I was so sad when they stopped making it. But I understand. Everything's gotta everyone's gotta move on at some point, do something else. Yeah, you missed a whole lot of Galamath, but don't worry, there's a VOD. You can go to youtube.com slash something 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 numbers, etc. There's a link below, by the way. And you can find the Swell Time G Pool YouTube channel where there are VODs. And very, very rarely something that's not a VOD, but it is mainly just VODs. <laughs> you still re listen to those two, but it's too sad now? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I could still, like, enjoy them, though, but I know some, some, of the, some of the colorful characters that used to be a part of that are not in the best place anymore, which is pretty sad. You're hoping to see my reaction to the twist in Symphony of the Night Live? I gotcha. <laughs> Do you mean about the inverted castle? Because I, I, I... Spoiler alert, I did in fact know that the castle in, was inverted at some point. I didn't. I thought it would just be the castle we're in, so it is kind of insane that a second castle just appears out of the sky for some reason. Why did it do that? Maybe Shaft will tell us later. If we if we smack his balls around a little bit, he'll have to he'll have to squeal eventually. That is an awesome emo mage. Goblin one six seven brew, a certified classic. <laughs> yeah, they really like step up the difficulty when you get to the inverted castle. I was like, I was um uh, take, taking like at most two damage from other enemies. Um. But when we get to the inverted castle, everyone's suddenly kicking your ass again. Yes, that is Prismaya. Welcome in, Jolene Simp number four. Or as I like to say, Jolene's Imp. Which is pretty similar if you think about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I also, um, I, I did kill Richter and got credits, which was pretty cool. But then I loaded my game, and I was like, wow, cool, awesome, epic. Now I can do the other thing. It's so funny, you like travel through the center of the castle to go meet with Maria, and she gives you funny like googly glasses, like Groucho Marx comedy glasses, and then you can see Shaft, Shaft's balls dangling over his head. 
Time Spinner? What is Time Spinner? I've never heard of that in my life. Maybe I'll do another, um, <laughs> another Egovania-like video game. I wish, I wish Bloodstained wasn't a 3D game because I don't really like how it looks. <laughs> it look, I'm sure it's fun. I just don't like the 3D graphics in that game. They look a little, um, I don't know, bland. Maybe I don't know. The Curse of the Moon ones are cool though. <laughs> Um, Gallimoth is the hardest boss in that game, to be fair. I've heard that. I've heard that. I was kind of just bashing my head against the wall against him. I, I had developed this tactic of trying to, like, mist my way through his leg when he's doing his big thundercloud attack, so that way I could try to avoid the thunder damage, because the, he shoots out so many lightning bolts at you, it's absurd. He one-shot me one time, it was fucked up. Just, do, just getting caught and without any iframes in that big old rupture of lightning. But, um, I was trying to, like, use my mist ability to, like, at least nudge myself in between his legs so I could just combo him with my big sword, but it didn't really, it didn't really work out. I felt like I did quite a bit of damage to him, but we weren't able to topple him, unfortunately. I don't know how bland that they are, strange. Yeah, I don't know. Something about Bloodstain just doesn't catch my eye. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, don't 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 give me gameplay spoilers. Don't tell me how to beat the guys. I need to figure it out on my own. I need to prove my gamer's merit by doing things on my own. It's my special ability to play video games and have fun and run around and slap guys and punch guys and kick guys and um shoot guys and um love women and fight guys and blast guys and other things. It's fun. It's a good game. I like it. I like it. Do you have a steam you use? I do have a sh what do you mean do you mean steam? <laughs> do you mean the website steam.com? Is it steam.com? It's got to be steam.com, right? <laughs> To kill Gallimoth, hit him until he dies. True. Thank you, Kenster. Thank you. That's what I was trying, and I'll try again. I, it's gonna be it's gonna be funny if I just load up the stream next time we play Symphony and just fight Gallimoth over and over. The digital video game distributor provider. Yes, I do. I do have one of those. If you can believe that. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's how we play Ace Attorney. That's how we play, um, that's it. Well, VTube Studio is on Steam, so I use I use Steam almost daily. I think, I think VTube Studio is by far my most, um, my biggest hours thing. Let's see. So that's, where's VTube Studio? Is it legal to be friends? Probably. Probably. Um, I have 748 hours on VTube Studio. <laughs> I have 11 hours in Worms Armageddon. That's cool. A lot of that, I think, was testing out fucking, like, custom maps. You've been playing a lot on your Steam Deck recently? Nice. I, uh... I have, I have the Switch for handheld gaming, but I haven't really made much time to play that either, so... I don't think getting a Steam Deck would do me any good. If I don't even, like, play the, the fancy-schmancy handheld I do have, I don't think I'm gonna see myself playing another one. <laughs> it's like... Like, one of the reasons I put off um, getting the Switch for so long was because I was afraid that even though I really wasn't playing my 3DS at all, I just would stop playing it. And, you know, that's true. I haven't touched my 3DS in a very long time. I think I need to get a new battery for it anyway. The, the batteries go out on you after so long and after so much love and care so i played my 3ds a lot <laughs> back in the day i got mario 3d land and the 3ds for christmas and i was so excited i was jumping up and down bouncing a bundling ball of joy that game owns it's so good mario 3d land one of the best nobody talks about it because it's locked onto the 3ds but it's great it's fantastic 
Something about 3D World, like the little bit I've played, didn't click with me as much, and I really can't put my finger on it because fundamentally, they're like the same game, so I'm not really sure why um, 3D World doesn't click. I guess because it's made with multiplayer in mind, so playing it single player just kind of makes things bigger than they need to be. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe I figured it out. Maybe I figured out exactly my issue. It's just that, <laughs> just that that game is multiplayer intended, but um, could be cool, could be fun, could be sweet, could be swinging. I should play it. I have it. I have Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Um, I bought it because um, some friends said like, hey, we should do multiplayer, but that hasn't happened yet, so I'll wait patiently until it happens. What other Switch games do I got? I got Reheart Katamari. That was the first game I got with the Switch. Haven't touched it at all. Metroid Prime Remastered, I got that for Christmas from a friend. I haven't touched it at all. I think we were going to play it together, but we haven't made time to do that. Um, I have Ring Fit Adventure. I would like to do that one more, but I have just not been doing that either. It's Guys, there's not enough time in the day. I'll say it. I'll say it. There's just not enough time in the day. And when you've got so many friends and oomphies like doing cool streams and stuff that are live and you don't want to miss it, it's really bad for your productivity. It makes it really hard to want to do something when you've got this live event happening and you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it, so you're just there. You're stuck. You're landlocked to your computer because you want to make sure that you get to spend time watching that cool, awesome event, that live stream. It sucks. I really need to. I really need to revalue my uh, my 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 per principles. No, my um, my my priorities. That's the word. Hi, Clover. Good morning, Swelty Too Dizzy. Are you Swelty Too Dizzy today? How are you? Hi, Mr. Pig. Happy two days over birthday slash birthday party stream today. Welcome in. Welcome in. Wait, hold on. Can I? There you go. Happy birthday, Mr. Pig. <laughs> Power chat for one-fourth of a stream, so you don't feel bad not chatting for the entire stream. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Hello, Floral. New model to you? Oh, no, yeah, this is a... <laughs> we unveiled this, this little lady back in October, so... You got a lot of catching up to do. There's a lot of cool VODs you can go peek, you can go check out. There's a cool, this is, this is, um, here's a photo from uh, the, the reveal stream. It was a Halloween stream slash collab with Pumpkin Synth. Um, and this was the reveal stream because my, the model was originally going to be revealed in like a stream a few days prior, but it just wasn't ready yet. But, uh, here's this, here's this. I really like this. This is what happened on the model reveal stream for this for girl pool here. And I'll always remember I'll always remember this moment fondly. It's so good. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> Throwback. It it was it was so easy to find a jar.png on Google. I can't believe it. It's so hard to find like transparent PNGs these days, but but they came through for me with that one. <laughs> it's so good. I, I love her like evil stare too. That's one of the best things about um, 3D models is that you can just kind of you can go crazy with it. You can you can go. I'm over here now. I'm looking over here. I'm over here now. Um, I'm gonna look up even. You can look down. Don't look don't look down too far now. You can like be sideways. You can see the you can see the cool you can see the cool effect of my mouth tracking from the side. I'm a big fan. <laughs> she's a big fan, you guys. I don't know if you knew that, but she's a big fan. Never really show off the profile side of this model, but it's really cute. Bluebreed did an astounding job designing this 3D model. Um, the the model was like art angle. Art was done by Pumpkin Synth, but. Blue Breed, my roomie, my oomphy, my bestest buddy, uh, made the 3D model, and he did a bang-up job. He did a fantastic job. You know me? Let me show you the shoes. Do you like the shoes? I'm gonna stand up on the bed. I'm gonna stand on the bed. You guys can't do anything about that. Do you like the shoes? I, do, I, do I have... Oh, I think I've... I used to be able to do the steppies, but I think I haven't... I have changed the parameters or something. But I'll fix that later. 
I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh, okay, you're right. You're right. I think this was the size we were at earlier. Gpo, no! Remember the monkeys! Oh gosh, you're right. I can't forget. Can't believe I forgot about the monkeys. That's messed up. <laughs> you want those shoes? Thanks. They're there's a lot of like Mega Man Legends aesthetic to this model, like specifically Roll Casket, because she's my baby. I mean, look at her back there. She's on my wall, protecting me every night with her funny little monkey friend Data. It's awesome. Hey, Jordan. Good afternoon. How are you? <laughs> <sighs> <gasps> Data face. Hell yeah. Hi CBF. Welcome in. How's it going? How are you today? Good emote. I can't believe someone actually just has data face as an emote. Usually that's one of those ones I see as like um the better TTVs or whatever. Um but it's just there. It's there in my Twitch chat. That's awesome. Clover, you're preaching to the choir here. You're preaching to her biggest fan right now, so whatever positive things you can say about Roll Casket, I'm here for it. I'm all there. I agree. I agree. I hope I hope you'll come back and play Legends 2 real soon. <laughs> I'm curious what you'll think of that one compared to the first one. Because they, they have a bit of a tonal shift. It's quite a bit of a different adventure from the first game. So I'm curious what you'll think about it. Did you know about the rollout from Street Fighter V? I did. I did know about that. I think it looks... Something... It Street Fighter V's art style is not my favorite so i think it looks it does look good because it's roll but it, it definitely could be better because it should be more cartoony and street fighter 5 had that weird like it has a weird look to it i can't blame it but i'm happy that they got some recognition for her somewhere i think you can dress up his role in dead rising 3 or something as well <laughs> airman rashid is pretty funny airman rashid is pretty good hi soleil talk about roll talk about roll Talk about roll. And say nice things about her. Look go go to your go to your tenor gift bar and look for the gif of roll um with the grease on her face. It's really cute. I should just have that installed probably, because I need it at all times. Gutsman Balrog. I, I forgot about Gutsman Balrog. Hi Molly. How are you? Roll is also one of my favorite Mega Man characters in every continuity. She's just good. She's always good. Classic roll is really good. Um, Legends roll is the best that ever was. Battle Network roll is really cute. Um, I like that she's got the. I like that NetNavi looks in general, but roll is really cute in that one. She's got the. Uh, she's got the little plug thing on her butt, and she's got the uh, giant weird antenna things that go wrap around her head. <laughs> Oh, thank you for adding grease to my face. I appreciate that. I don't think I have an ability to do that. That could be good. Tatsunoko versus Capcom roll? Yes. Yes, she's very funny in that game. I like that she roams around with her broom. I love that Mega Man Powered Up gives you like 18 roll costumes for some reason. <laughs> There's no reason to, but they just made a shit ton of roll costumes and powered up. Like, nobody else has costumes. There's a few Mega Man variations where he, he plays differently. Roll just has a ton of different costumes you can play as. It's awesome. It's good. Alex Roll OP. I don't think I ever had, like, a definitive team in Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. I never really played it, like, um, against people. I mainly played it by myself, you know. So, Teehee ha ha. Teehee ha ha. Um, but I did like I did like Frank. I liked Tekaman Blade. I liked um, um I liked Zero, of course. G Lighton was good. <laughs> G Lighton was great. I liked that they just had fuck off big characters in that game. If you did see it before, you might have just forgot you had brain surgery. Oh, I gotcha. Well, now it's back in your brain, and you'll never forget it now. What? With Mr. Pig, what did you say? Don't make me DVIP you, Mr. Pig. <laughs> Be careful with what you say. Hi, Blues, you got a pizza? What's on the pizza? You didn't get none pizza left beef, did you? That would be tragic. That'd be tragic, Mr. Pig. That's strike two. Be careful. 
Pepperoni? Good choice. Good choice. I'm very... I'm very... I'm very standard with my Zaza. I don't... I don't do much other than pepperoni. Too much on your pizza can just, like, detract from it all, you know? Some people... They'll get the pizzas that have, like, they're covered in all sorts of veggies and meats and everything, and it's like, what are you tasting at that point, dude? There's, there's too much. There's too much. You can't even fit all that in your mouth. Pepperoni is good enough. Even sometimes just, like, a plain cheese pizza is fine. I do like the pepperoni, though. It's a good off-balance. But I just can't, I don't want, I don't want an overload of toppings on my Zaza. No, thank you. People put chicken on pizza, and it's always, like, bland, unseasoned chicken. So I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're thinking. It's crazy. You, you can make some good Alfredo pies, though. You can make some good Alfredo pies. Just, like, you know, use a nice Alfredo sauce instead of the regular tomato. Um, you're a big meat lovers guy. <laughs> barbecue chicken pizza is pretty good. Maybe barbecue chicken pizza is fine. Chicken can be good if you have Alfredo. That's true. That's like the saving grace of chicken, but I've seen people use chicken as just like a regular topping on regular ass tomato cheese pizza. You just like olive oil and garlic instead of sauce. Is that... Should you be eating that much olive oil directly? I don't know if you can. O eating oil doesn't sound like it's good for you, but I mean, there's plenty of grease on the pizza regardless. If you get a big fat New York slice... And you can like just pick it up and it'll it'll schlock off onto the onto the cardboard box. You had a barbecue pizza once and that was just like a pizza bathed in barbecue sauce and it was disgusting and almost made you not finish it. Almost. Almost though. You came in clutch though, and I'm proud of you for that. I hate I'm I I'm a I'm a picky eater, I'll say that. And I hate food waste, so I'm very hesitant to try things because I don't want food wasted on me if I don't like it because I'm not the type to force myself to eat something even though I hate food waste. So I'm kind of a hypocrite. I'm kind of icky and twisted and foul. Have you never have I you never have dipped bread in balsamic vinegar and oil? I can't say I have. I don't think I have. I don't go to restaurants, mage. I don't go to fancy smancy restaurants like the Cheesecake Warehouse or whatever. That's me with malted milk powder I got for Christmas. I felt bad throwing it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst. Like, somebody get- That's- When somebody gives you something, and you're like, oh, uh, 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 oh, bleh, uh, yeah, bleh. You would try to drink it every week and be disgusted. <laughs> You make me the big tapas platter? Thanks, mage. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I do like mac and cheese pizza. I've, I've, I would like to go to um, CC's Pizza. It's a, it's an American fat, uh, pizza buffet chain, and um, they've got a mac and cheese pie, which is quite good. Cause it also, it doesn't use tomato sauce. It uses like a cheese sauce with the cheese, and you got the little, the rounded noodles. And it's very good. That's like the only reason to go to CC's. The pizza is like perfectly fine and mid. And, and if you're the type that you can eat a lot, it's certainly a bang for your buck. The buffet's not very expensive. But like, you know, the mac and cheese pizza is really good. And the CC's pizzas have like a little arcade in them too. It's nothing, it's by no means like, like Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. It's just like a tiny room with a few machines. But, you know, there's usually something cool there. Like, the one that was in my town, it's not here anymore. It had a Crazy Taxi cabinet, and I love that. Even though I had Crazy Taxi on GameCube, I still love playing it in the in the arcade because those racing games, it's such a different vibe to play it like in the big chair with the wheel and everything. Um, they had like a Simpsons pinball too, that was pretty cool. Air hockey's a must. They have that little um, that little game. It's like the Avalanche game where there's the little rubber ball that you get, and you have to like um. You have to move it back and forth to climb the mountain and you don't want to fall off the side or else you won't get the big prize. You'll only get the rubber ball, which was something I liked about it. No matter what, you got a prize, even if it was just a tiny little bouncy ball. So I was big into that. You're P you had Raiden 2 and Metal Slug 3 in your CC's Pizza Monday? That's so sick. We never had like real games, like other than Crazy Taxi. It was always like fucking Cabela's or some random like uh, jet ski game or whatever 
We never had, like, real games in our arcades around here. <laughs> it's so messed up. Oh, man. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I've never, I've never even seen a Metal Slug cabinet. There's a barcade that's kind of near here. It's like a, it's like, I don't know, 40, maybe an hour, minute, an hour away. But like, I don't really like bars because I don't drink alcohol and they're crowded and stuffy. But they had a lot of cool games there, like Marvel vs. Capcom and um, Osu and other fun such things. Oh, Megami! Welcome in! How's it going? Hold on, my art's in the way. You can't see the raid message. Welcome in, welcome in! How was your stream, Megami? Redebut raid? Congrats on your redebut! How did it go? Did you have a good time? Did you have fun out there? I hope so. Tell me how your stream went. We're just chatting right now before we start the video game. But, um, it's been, we're having fun. We're talking about arcades and CeCe's Pizza right now. <laughs> welcome in, raiders. I'm G-Pool, superhero extraordinaire. Um, here's an art piece that I did yesterday. It's Mika Prismea. I'm doing a thing. If you've been around here, you may remember last year I was doing a bunch of a bunch of VTubers in bunny suits because it was the year of the rabbit. This year is the year of the dragon, so I have been I've been drawing friends in really nice dragon dresses. And this is what I did most recently. The only games you found at restaurant once with a GameCube set up with a Super Monkey Ball 2, and it was awesome. That is pretty cool that they just had the GameCube there. <laughs> That's awesome. Metal Slug cabinets were all over when you were little. It was like meeting a friend everywhere. I think I've just, I grew up in what is essentially a old person's hometown. And while the touristing industry has certainly um, beefed up since then, um... It is still very much an old person's home, so we didn't really have too many things like that. Like, we had an arcade that had some, like, cabinets. Like, there was a DDR machine and stuff, which was cool, but it, it, it was mostly, like, a ticket-based arcade kind of thing. Um, there was a place down, like, in the downtown area that was, like, a, a Philly cheesesteak restaurant, and they had a few arcade games. I didn't find out about this till like, after high school, but, um... <laughs> Um, I don't know how long they were there before then, but they had a Monkey Ball 2, or it was just Monkey Ball 1, actually. And it had the cool dull banana controller. They did, they were cycling games out pretty quickly, too. They had Knights of the Round, I think, or whatever the Capcom one is, King of Dragons, I think. They had Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. That one was on free play, too, for some reason. They didn't keep it for very long, but they had it on free play. So me and my friend, after we ate our mozzarella sticks in our eggplant farm or whatever, we uh, we played through all of Moonwalker, and it was really cool. Michael Jackson lets out the most, like, like uh, sound-shattering uh, woo sound you've ever heard in your life, and he does it every time when you start a new level. It's awesome. He would break the sound barrier every time you started a level. It was cool. It was fun, though. That's a good game. I bet it's on, like, Fightcade or something. Hey, Abby. Moonwalker is amazing? Hell yeah. Abigail, do you like Cece's Pizza? Yay or nay? Say yes. Please. Please. Oh, have a good night, Megami. Uh, thank you again for the raid. I'm, I'm glad that your re-debut went well. I hope you had a lot of fun. Thank you. That's a good girl. That's a good girl following orders. Hell yeah. You had Moonwalker for the Genesis. I've never played that one myself, but I've always been fascinated with it. I've seen it. I've seen it around. I've seen him do the cool dances. Um, it does look kind of fun. Like it seems very silly with it, but I like that they made it own their own original game and not just tried to copy the arcade. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Some games get really good arcade translations. Like I'll, I think Turtles in Time is the most prevalent one. That's like as good as you could do for um, an arcade quality game on the home console. Like the animations are a little are a little um, less smooth. You can only play as two characters instead of four. But honestly, I think I like the Super Nintendo version better than the arcade. It's probably nostalgia talking, but I do really like the Super Nintendo version of Turtles in Time, and I didn't play the arcade one until way later. And I don't know, something about the arcade one, maybe it, it's almost too smooth for me. <laughs> and um, you don't get the cool boss fight where you have to throw the guys into Shredder's funny little car. 
This next one just hits. Thank you, Monday. Thank you. I think the I think the arcade one is also just harder. <laughs> I think it's harder because arcade games are always meant to just eat your quarters because that's how they that's how they make their money off of them. Those things cost a lot of to make, cost a lot in power. Whereas like a home console, like you've already they've already made as much money they can out of you, so they can't make it too hard. Unless you're gonna rent it. Unless you're gonna be a cheeky little pal and rent it. Tee hee ha ha hee hee. Ha ha. Wowie. Wowie zowie. <laughs> It's so good, though. I love that one. Um, we went on a lot of tangents. I really like... Guys, I like talking with you. I let, I just get to let my brain turn off and I go on autopilot. And then I can just ramble about nonsense. And fortunately, you're all here to somehow manage to follow along when I go from one tangent to another. Almost, like, without any reason. <laughs> But uh, it is a lot of fun, so I, I'm happy that you guys are all here. You wanna, you wanna hear the ramblings of a mad woman going crazy? Hi, Ilya. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm staring. I'm staring deep into your eyes. You're not able to follow along. You just go ADHD brain. <laughs> and you know, that's good too. That's good too. I'm not following along at all. I'm just disassociating and staring at a wall. Thank you, Masumi. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> um, man, I want to go to CC's now. I want to go to CC's and get the mac and cheese pizza. My friends have like, they have like a um, they have like a they have like a one year limit on CC's pizza. They won't let me go more than once a year because they don't want to go. But I think it's delicious. I think it's cool and good. Um, it's a shame we have to kind of go out of our way to go to CC's. Like, as I said, there's not one in our town anymore. The CC's near you is cash only? What? <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I think it's weird when places in general are, like, nondescript with their payment. Or, not non nondescript is not the word. They're specific with their payments. Like, I generally, I'm, I'm a cash carrier. I prefer to pay in cash and stuff. And some places, they, like, only do card. And that's weird to me. That's weird to me. And in, in the same vein, it's weird that a place would only do cash and not give you the option. I, it just makes sense, you know. To you would want to have as many options as possible to take pe to take money from pizza from people <laughs> from pizza. Take money, get pizza, live, laugh, love. The future is now, old man. No, say it ain't so. It's just like. I, it's just easier for me to know, like, how much fuck around money I have if it's there, like, physically in my pocket. If it's on a card, you don't know. You have to, like, load up your app and check your account and everything. And I prefer to keep that stuff set aside specifically for, you know, the bills and whatnot. So, other than that, I just like, I just like to have my play money on hand. I want the delicious New York-style pizza place near you now. I have... There was a there was a really really good pizza place that's like literally like less than ten minutes from my house, um, um, but like they changed ownership and I haven't tried them yet since they've gotten they've like rebranded them. There's a new owner and stuff, but um, I actually ran into somebody who works there and I asked them about I asked them how the quality was and he said it's not as good, which is like harrowing to think even the employees are just like brutally honest like yeah it's not as good as it used to be which is so tragic and it's kind of put me off from giving them a giving them a shot under the new ownership or whatever but maybe one day maybe one day i won't be able to resist the allure of a new york slice when you're cash only you can lie to the government about how much tax you owe exactly you can be funny with it what the fuck? I love cash only. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We love spending cash. We love feeding the economy and keeping everybody alive and well. Ain't that fun? Ain't that cool? Ain't that sweet? Okay, um, we can keep the cool talk about cash and pizza and stuff going. I do want to start playing the video game though because I genuinely love and adore this game, and I think you will all love and adore it too. So let's um, let's keep playing, okay? Here we go. We're over here now. We're over here now. This is, 
the mute audio still coming up and okay um audio is still coming yes it is yes it is sweet that's in the game facts guide for being an american <laughs> hello ragzen welcome in how are you coming in with the megami raid you're lurking in sleep hell yeah I, I appreciate it i hope you have a wonderful dream i hope you get a good snooze and thank you for the follow i'm gonna make myself a little bigger on the screen here so that way you guys can really you guys can really get an eyeful you guys can really really enjoy the beauty the spectacle Mwah. okay video games what are video games <laughs> Whoa. We love keeping full fed. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it very much. I will be so well fed now thanks to you. Maybe I will get to try that pizza place after all. Maybe I will get a big fat New York slice. But thank you very much. Um so if you haven't seen this game yet, it's, it's so cool. <laughs> it's like the most G pool coded video game I have played thus far in my streaming career you're this funny little guy you're this funny little boy um you name him yourself so we named him girl pool because of course and you can change into your super suit and you just take on little tasks for people you're just a nice guy running around people people put um people put their needs for heroes right here on the cream cast server they've got the cream cast by the way it's awesome hi nadia this is shenmue if it was badass yeah exactly Look, we got the cream cast. We booted it up. Isn't that so fun and charming and cool? Um, yeah, we checked our we checked our emails at the end of the last stream. I also think Shenmue is badass, but this is like Shenmue if it was a goofy superhero story. Um, I wanna I wanna show you guys emails from um Jack Hammer. Where is he? Where are you, Jack? There you go. <laughs> this Jack is the coolest guy ever because he just sends you emails and he's trying to learn how to use his keyboard the entire time. It's so awesome. I think he's learned how to learn how to type, so we might not be seeing any more like, hey one, why won't this work? One 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 one. How do you hit the exclamation mark? I see it right there, one 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 one. It's on the keyboard, but it won't work. But um he's been getting better at typing. That's been my real that's been what's really keeping me going. Seeing Jack Hammer improve learning how to use the computer. I think it's awesome and cool. Um, but we're gonna take some hero work and see who needs help. The jackhammer typing out. Hey Zeno, how's it going? Let's see. Um, a lot of these are like kind of repeat jobs. Um, so like all these ones up here, like you can do them whenever you want to, if you just want to make more money. He sends wowwaws in the TF2 chat. <laughs> Whoa, the chief of police needs help. Whoa, we're working with the fuzz now. And they're gonna pay us six grand. Drive-by police city have requested that you help them with our investigation. The chief will bring in the details. This is Mew, by the way. She's our little helper friend that keeps us on the clock, keeps us on the job. Um, help them with the investigation. Yeah, let's go to drive-by police. Oh no, becoming a cop. No, Ilya, we're working with the cops. It's different. We're still above the law. And we just paid our fee for our rental suit. Because we're not just a hero, we're a rent-a-hero. So we're, um, we're paying off of our suit every time. Like, every so often we get a bill to keep our super suit. Where's my dad? Where's my dad? I wanted to talk to dad. Whoa! Can I do that? Uh, can I? I don't think I can do this. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this with what we've got here, but we'll keep that in mind for later. <laughs> I didn't know that was an ability. That's my sister. Her name's Alice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to use you use the VMU. Do you have a girlfriend? I have a lot of boyfriends, but it's too bad they're not serious. Now, no, I, Mage, I know what a VMU is. I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday. I've played Sword of the Berserk Guts' Rage on a on a Dreamcast. I've played Shenmue. Um, I think those are the only games I've played on the actual console. <laughs> but they're good games, so. Hi, Mama. Hi, 
need to take a break from the daily duties. It would be nice if we could all go out on a vacation. Yeah, that would be nice. Pops? Papa? Are you in the bathroom? No. Walking your chow on that VMU. Hell yeah, that sounds like the life. Where'd dad go? Maybe he went to work. That's always a possibility. Our dad is our dad is uh the breadwinner after all. He's gotta make sure the family's well fed. Okay, we gotta go to drive by city. Every single loading screen in this game has super duper charming art, by the way. You're going to be charmed endlessly by this video game. Before we go on, let me um let me check what I got in my inventory. Because we're right by a store. And if we could use more items, that might be nice. But we got we got rice burger, we got cell battery. Um should probably buy more batteries at the least. Hello. Got so many of those, but you barely used any of the cool features yet. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Mr. Pig. You found it out. You found it out. Now I'll buy a I'll buy an energy drink as well, just in case. Just in case we get a we get tired from the huffing and puffing of hero work. I'll buy a double A battery. I'm sipping on an energy drink right now. <laughs> It's the Ultra Strawberry Dreams, the very sexually tinged monster energy. Very important power chatter. So true. Mr. Pig is always there when you need someone to power chat. The train music's so funny. Okay, where's the where's the police academy? It's over here. It's over here. We ran around, uh, we ran around Drive-By City so much in the last stream because we were trying to deliver pizzas and we didn't know where we needed to go. So we spent a lot of time in this area in particular. Okay. Are you the fuzz? Why is he swimming at me? <laughs> Is it the strawberry or the al regular ultra that's known for trans people drinking it? It is Monster Ultra Strawberry Dreams. Hi, Lava 2. It's very good and pink. I'm gonna read the paragraph of the can again, just so you guys can know. Some people swear that strawberries are aphrodisiacs. They say if you share a double strawberry with someone, then they'll catch feelings for you. Pretty good. Pretty good. Remember that. Remember that when you're um when you're out there, when you're out and about and you need to get down. This makes you want to play your Dreamcast? Hell yeah. You know this game um this game never came out in the West, it never left Japan, so this is a fan translation. Um you got to make sure you got to make sure to get all those patches and everything set up so you can have fun proper. One of your partners practically lives on the orange monster. I've never had the orange one. They've got a peach one that I've been thinking about trying, but I just know I like the strawberry one a lot, so I always just grab it instead of branching out. Rehab tea lemonade and chaotic. I think I've had the chaotic one, but I don't remember. Um, passion punch is pretty good. <laughs> oh, you modded your Dreamcast to have rainbow lights? Nice. You like that peach ramen? -y? Peach flavor is just good in general. Crush peach is so fucking good. Go out, go to your local gas station and pick up a crushed peach. That'll make that'll make you smile, okay? Thank you. Grand Rockstar changed their original formula to something worse. I was never a Rockstar drinker. Not really Rockstar, not really Red Bull. Just monster. Just the monster. You should eat an orange. I think oranges are good, but I kind of detest eating them because it's got a mouthfeel that I don't enjoy. I don't like biting into the orange slices, I'm sorry to say. As I said earlier, I'm a picky eater. A lot of times it's more of a texture thing than anything. Like, I think onions are really good and really add a lot of flavor of stuff. But if there's just like a chunk of onion in something, I lose my mind. I go insane with it. I, I get all kinds of upset. <laughs> I know you're a chicken tender mane. 
Thanks, Ilya. Apples are pretty nice. Apples are nice. They're okay. Bananas are good. Police have a tough job. We have to catch criminals and arrest them. Then we have to do all the paperwork after we arrest the suspect. Hmm? Look at the DM. Hi, pumpkin. Am I gonna freaking go crazy? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Pumpkin, that's crazy. I'm gonna freaking nut, dude. Nice. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> anyway, we're playing Rent-A-Hero. I should probably change into my hero costume, so that way I can, uh, get- I, that way I can get the respect that I deserve. Don't nut on stream. I won't. I won't. I'll take care. I'll take care, don't worry. Okay. Sometimes the vending machines have little treats for you. Hello, the chief is upstairs. Okay, where are the stairs? We haven't really been to this building before. Hello. Don't! <laughs> you heroes are running too fast. If you were in a vehicle, you'd get a moving violation. Oh my god. This guy is so jealous of my super speed. Get bent. I like that I did, like, a K-turn there. Oh, that's downstairs. No. No. No, no. Wait, what's down here? Is this the prison? Whoa, cool. Detective Clue told me that I can't be defeated by a rent -a hero Yeah? How about that? Where's the stairs to go up -y? Rent a hero want up -y. Oh, hello. Whoa, we could just come back here? This is a weird building. I have to arrest somebody today or I won't meet my quota. These guys are part of the problem. They're not helping at all. <laughs> hello, ma'am. Oh my, I'm a huge fan of yours. I'll be cheering you from now on. Thank you. Finally, some des some respect. No, no, mage. We don't stoop to that level. We don't kill around here. We only beat, 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 beat up. While I'm in uniform, I feel very powerful. When I return home to my wife, my uniform doesn't make me powerful. <laughs> Sweet, dude. Hello, hero. Please go in. The chief is expecting you. Finally. The chief of police. Maya Quimby. I'm Detective Clue. We must make sure we succeed in our next big assignment. Okay. Oh, you're the chief. I've been waiting for you, hero. We'd like your help with our next assignment. We've received information that an illegal weapons deal is going to take place. First, talk to Danny Data. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Danny Data, what a good name. And get further details about this assignment. Danny Data is an older gentleman with a tropical shirt on. You can find him in Clean Bay. <gasps> I know him. We've met Danny Data before. I gotta say... I'll give it to him. The police, the police OST kind of slaps. This is a good track. <laughs> I'm vibing with the with the Lofi beats to arrest slash um, plant evidence on. Okay, we could have just. Whoa, the computer room. The computer room. The hero's model. You don't use a gun? I heard you use special moves to take out the bad guys. I wish I had a special move. <laughs> we found the computer room. Hooray. Okay, out of my way. I gotta go to Clean Bay. Ironic how Clean Bay is anything but. That's where all the scandals are happening. Gun is kind of a special move. <laughs> You're so right. That's so true. Why isn't it playing the cool music? I'm on the job, so it should be playing the cool music. That's so sad. Anyway, clean bay's over here. 
We're gonna go put a stop to whatever nonsense, whatever chicanery and skullduggery are going on around here. After we tussle. This is how combat works in the game, by the way. You just do that. You can also power slam people if you get close to them. You can jump and kick. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Whoa. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot more guys than usual. Usually it taps out at five, but they're going for it. We're also really strong, so we can kind of like one hit most enemies, which is pretty good. This game is so Dreamcast. I like to believe that this game has the heart of the Dreamcast on it. Hey, it's the mayor. It's Gil Bates. Just saw some men in suits running with an older man. They were sweating and getting in a good workout. Nice. Thanks, Gil. This is Yakuza. Yeah, I think this game, like, um, it, it's a it's a nice in-between of Shenmue and Yakuza. Like, I know none of the developers have anything to do with that that game, I believe, but um, it, it really feels like a middle point. It's the most Dreamcast game to ever Dreamcast. And we like that. Whoa. But yeah, and I've got I've got special moves I can do too. And I can I can do this cool spin kick. Oh, never mind, I'm just grabbing him. Let me do my spin kick. You've got your charge moves that are Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> he brought a gun out! You're definitely going to jail for that, buddy. Die! I mean, get arrested. <laughs> The background scrolling would drive you nuts as a dev seeing it scroll like that. Oh, you mean the, um, you mean how the, uh, skybox works? <laughs> the skybox is very funny. Watching it just, like, kind of track around you. It's so good. There's so many enemies here. I think the magic of the Dreamcast is that you can say that about every Dreamcast game. It's true, though. Dreamcast is, like, a beautiful little realm that they've created. Perish. You gotta be careful using, like, your battery charge moves, because it can really drain your bar down there, and then you'll untransform. So you kind of just want to stick to your regular melee combat. There we go. Okay, where... where's my funny old friend? Probably over here. Danny Data, where'd you go? Danny Data, where are you? Like when you made a fir the first comment, you didn't know this was Dreamcast game? Oh, I see. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. oh, do I not have a level 4 move? I think I have it, but I didn't equip it, maybe? I forget. That's fine. We'll use our level 3 for fun. See how much of that used of my bar on the bottom left there? It's... It's so cost ineffective because your bar will just slowly drain the longer you're um, in your hero form. So you have to be mindful of that stuff. You got to keep putting in new batteries. Are you? Are they beating them up over here? It was a fun little blip in the gaming world that you miss. I think, like Dreamcast and um, maybe not in the same degree, but like PS2 and stuff. That was the generation where, like, like N64, PS1, they sort of passed the torch. They were sort of learning how to make 3D games and stuff. So when they um, moved on to this next generation, they were able to um, start just developing interesting and unique ideas for games. Whereas with, like, with the previous console, not to say that there weren't, like, cool, unique original games there, but people really had a good understanding of, like, how the tech worked, I believe, at the time. So... I think that led people to, like, expanding what they could do, trying different things, seeing whatever exciting and cool ideas they could make happen, not just, like, you know, figuring out what's available, like, just figuring out how to make a 3D game. They could just make something with a 3D game. Like, um, like, Mr. Mosquito, I think, is an interesting one. Like, 
they wanted to make a game with the idea of you being a teeny tiny little guy and just having all the all the fun little antics of being a mosquito. I think that's a great example. Like early PS2 game, interesting weird mechanic they come up with and they make something out of it. Do you get what I'm saying? Where are, where are they? Mr. Mosquito is a game which feels like it has a different motivations. What do you mean? So there's one scene where you're in a bathtub, okay? One day I want to own my own workhouse, warehouse. Then I'll live here and work all day long. Me a teeny guy looking out for some blood. Oh, there you are. I'm coming. Danny Data, I'm coming. Whoa. <laughs> We got stuck in our standing animation, like, in the air. That was awesome. No! Leave him alone! Hey! This old man was spying on us. Who are you? Get out of here! No. This old man is a little suspicious. Let's teach him a lesson. Somebody help me! I'm an old man! Okay, get on. Get on. Get on, you damn suits. The Saturn did have some funny 3D. I really liked Burning Rangers. I want to play more Burning Rangers at some point, too. Um, Mr. Bones, I want to understand Mr. Bones because I want to play through that game, but it's so clunky and difficult. <laughs> I would like to play more Mr. Bones, though. Oh, yeah, I have something to tell you. I'm Danny Data. I've been expecting you. It seems that all the top gang members are going to make a deal here in Clean Bay. The Dynamite Dogs, Uddy, Cappuccinos, Harakiri, and Heaven's Devils. We'll all be here. Oh my is going to do business with all these guys. I'm not lying about this. I even know where oh my is. He's at the Bling Bling Hotel. <gasps> the Bling Bling Hotel. Don't mind if I do. The bigger the fight or fire, the more exciting it is. Everyone is intrigued by these things. That's true. As humans were naturally drawn to chaos, even though it's like not good that it's happening, we just can't help ourselves. The tunnel snakes too? They got everybody in here. <laughs> God damn. Only you're allowed to commit Harakiri. Okay, Ilya. Thank you, Ilya. Wait, please wait a second. Hello. Hello. I'm the copy us reporter. Rika Order. If there's a joke there, I'm missing it. I'm interviewing all the rent heroes I'd like to interview you right now. I won't take much of your time. Can I please interview you? Well, I'm sure... Surely, surely, oh my, won't get away. I mean, I'm, I'm watching the building, so we may as well take a moment to speak with this wonderful lady in red. Great! That helps me out so much! First, I'd like to ask your name. Jeepool is your name. I'm writing an article for the next issue of Slime. <laughs> for Slime. I can't wait to pick up my next issue of Slime, you guys. That's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> oh. I'd like to ask you some questions to see if the townspeople agree with the hero. Please answer my questions with yes or no. This will help speed up the process. Okay, first question. If someone were to give you a thousand gold out of the blue, would you accept it? No, no, not not for nothing, you know. Maybe if maybe as like um as just like a thank you for your the heroing work or whatever, if I save them and they I I'd feel bad about turning that away, but if someone just gave me money, that that would feel weird and it would honestly be a little bit sketchy if you ask me. The slime nine case, it all comes together. You're a true hero. You wouldn't take money that you haven't earned. Okay then, question true. Do you like the bistro skip better than my Donald Burger? <sighs> Ooh, ah, man, um 
Hmm, well, I haven't even been to Bistro Skip, whereas I've pounded back a couple teriyaki burgers and rice burgers, so... Um... I think... I think I gotta... I think I gotta go with my heart. No, let's go get my Donald Burger. I see! So you're just like everyone else and like what everyone else likes. Okay. Question three. Do you like the Ugly Duckling story more than the Rabbit and Turtle story? Hmm... Um... Slow and Steady wins the race versus You're Beautiful on the Inside. Yeah, sure. I see. So you feel like an ugly duckling when you wear that outfit. That makes sense. Well, hang on. Hang on. Not... Well, okay. Do you have police friends or do you want to be friends with the police? So you don't like the police? You must be hiding something. What the fuck? Do you like service cafe coffee better than my Donald Burger coffee? Of course. I see. So you're into the expensive things. You're very- Fuck, dude! She's grilling me! <laughs> Do you like spicy beef jerky more than beef jerky? Yeah. I find it important to spice things up sometimes as well. Question 7. Do you like it when we get an extra day every four years? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like I like extending our lifespan by by artificially giving us an extra day. Yeah. Wow, so you do take pride in the days that go by. That's important because life is short. You like pancakes, so you hate waffles vibe? <laughs> exactly. Hey Action Maverick, how's it going? Next is question eight. Are you afraid of heights? Hmm No. No. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Wow, a hero that isn't afraid of anything, then. That's great! Question 9. Is it okay not to bathe? That's right. No matter what, you should always bathe. A hero should always bathe. <laughs> okay, my final question. Are you having fun being a rent-a-hero? Absolutely. It has to be, right? I mean, if you have to run around in tights looking like a clown, it has to be fun. Okay, we're finished with the questions. Your total score is eight. What the fuck? You can't score opinion, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Not bad. You show great enthusiasm in being a hero. We can count on you to be our hero. The results were created by our president, Chai T. Do you agree with the results given to you? Well, not all answers are accurate, so don't worry too much. Thank you for taking your time to answer these questions. Okay, bye-bye. There she goes. She's toddling off back to copy us. Damn, Mayor, you get around. The way she runs off. Everybody, like, has a scampering running animation in this game. If you have any worries, just look towards the sun and scream at the top of your lungs. It's refreshing. Guys, I'm gonna need you to... I'm gonna need you to get in on that, okay? Start screaming at the top of your lungs towards the sun. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how you feel. Hello. No, I don't need a room. <laughs> okay. Where's that? Where's that villain at? My family speak a little English. I study so I can speak better. Hooray! Whoa, cool hat. I'm an elite international salesman. I don't mean to be an egomaniac, but I just like to say that to people. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna save my game. But it's cold outside? That's what the sun's for. The sun will warm you up. Just look right at it and you'll feel better. That's why we made the sun in the first place. 
Nice meet you. I speak little only. My first time in place here. Hell yeah. Whoa. Skipper. Oh, I thought this was a little sailor boy, but it's a, it's a lady in a sun hat. I have seen some amazing places here. This is a beautiful city. My wife is so thrilled to be here that she forgets that I'm here. Are you oh my? In this hotel, there are many tourists. I saw some guy who could barely speak try to pick up a girl. That's life for you. That ain't necessarily a tourist thing. That's just a life thing. <gasps> we can explore the second floor of this awesome hotel. Whoa. Bling, bling. This job requires me to stay fit. I'm sure your job requires the same. True. Hello. In this room, a man named Oh My has come to do business. He asked me to have dinner with him. I said yes, and he gave me a diamond ring. He's probably really rich. If I marry him, I'd be rich too, don't you think? No, you shouldn't. Are you jealous or something? I'm sorry, but I only like rich men. Chat, never, never date or marry a woman or man or whatever like this, okay? That will only lead you down agony. Anyway, I'm here for the business transaction. I'm here to put a stop to your nefarious acts. Who are you? What are you doing barging in here? You need to leave! I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Miss No Brain. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> They're so funny. This game's so funny. We have reservations at the wonderful bistro skip. To be fair, a huge chunk of marriages don't work out. That's true. I would never marry someone like that. I only like rich people. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well now we know where Oh My is going. Can I go in here? You can tell which rooms you can go into because you can see that there's not a black void in them. <laughs> this is a swanky place. Bling Bling Hotel not playing around. There, there's no TV in this hotel room, though, which is kind of fucked up. If you can't see the wonders of cable television in your hotel room, I'm not interested. People that just people like that just move rich person to rich person. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I would never do something so crass as marriage. That ain't happening. Don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry. I'm always available for rent. Now we get to go to the bistro. Hooray! Hooray! He's jumping for joy! Wahoo! Yo! <gasps> Rapscallions! Vandals! Whoa! Ow! Come on. This game has like a sort of like pseudo lock on when you start your combo. It can like, it can track you to the wrong person sometimes and it's really hard to like get a grasp of it. Whoa, we kicked that guy into that guy. That was awesome. Did you know that Sagata Sanchiro's birthday today? Whoa, happy birthday, Mr. Sanchiro. Maybe we'll play him, we'll pay him a visit later. No suit and tie means no entrance into the bistro skip. Oh, I know. We can go to the fucking mall and buy a cool suit and tie. Is the mall here or is the mall in the other area? I think the mall's here. Yes, this is the mall. At least the actor's birthday. Yeah, of course. Mr. Sanchiro himself. Hi, Jay. Welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? Would you marry a rich person for their money? Yay or nay? All right, let me buy my casual suit and tie. We bought the tall top hat earlier, but it wouldn't let us wear it, so it's a waste of money. Okay, can I like put that on? 
Can I wear that? Use. It's not a good idea to change here. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got to, um... Come on! Knock, knock! I don't have all day! Any other places with changing rooms I can sneak in real quick? I love the fucking Space Channel alien cube. <laughs> the nonsense cube. I can't even, like, use these ones. That's messed up. Where am I gonna change? Where am I gonna find a place to change? Where's the potty? Where's the potty? Hero gotta go. Hero gotta go. Okay, thank you. Maybe I can talk to somebody and they'll point me in the direction of a changing room. We have everything from suits to underwear. That's nice. That's nice. I believe there is nothing more important than family. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I know so much about baseball. I know you want something called a baseball glove. Is that a mitt or a glove that you wear to protect your jewels? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. You're better than that. I'm just hanging out in the mall right now, you guys. I'm just running around the mall. I'm having fun at the mall. Until we can find a place where we can legally change our clothes and be fine. Pet foods? Hello. Is renting a new thing these days? I never like to rent things. I always buy. Never rent. You were at a mall today? Whoa. That's cool. I don't know the last time I've been to the mall. It's been a while. Everything here except cellmate batteries. Well, thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your service. Hello. Oh, what's wrong? Oh no, some- please don't take me away. Somebody help me. What? What's going on? What's happening? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you a hero? I feel safer with a hero. Okay. She's all better now. What are you doing? What are you up to? I didn't come here to shop. I don't have any money. Okay. Being a hero is a job? So you get money for being a hero? You must have a lot of money. Well, let's not get carried away. Oh, I'm so hungry. If there were sample foods around, I'd eat them all. Damn. It's so hard being a kid. It's not easy. Any friends back here? Any pals hanging around? Any hip pips that I should know about? No? Okay. We need to find a place to change into our suit and tie. It's a, such a shame that we can't just go into the dressing room right then and there. People are using it and they need to, they need to let me in. Let me in! Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, so we gotta find somewhere we can change our clothes. Somewhere private. We could, like, go home, but that seems kind of out of the way. Pack me in, coach. I'll pee on very nice suits. Whoa. No pee on them? That's so scandalous. Can I change in this back alley like a superhero? That'd be cool. Damn. Damn. Unforch. Maybe if I just go there, he'll say- he'll like change on the fly or something. Very visibly not cis, so going to the malls can be kind of unbad, but the area you live in has a lot of trans people just move for to for the healthcare mostly. 
I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, I'm uh, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. No suit and tie means no entrance to the beast. There we go. There we go. Whoa, we clean up nicely. Welcome and please come in. Please enjoy our excellent food. The waiter will take your order. Thanks. Whoa, swanky. Are you the waiter? Welcome to the bistro, Skip. When you're ready to order, please let me know. A lot of people from Ohio and Florida moved there. Those are very... Those are very, um, <laughs> far apart locations. That's good. I'm glad that they're happy. Is this Oh My? The special of the day is 10,000 gold is pocket change to me. Who are you? Go away! Please take your seat, sir. You're making the guests feel uncomfortable. When you're ready to order, please let me know. Oh, man. We're really caught up in a bad way. Whoa, big man. Hello, Mr. Oh My. It's been a while. How you doing? Hello again, Leo Decapitano. Decapitano. It's good to see you as always. I'm sorry for any inconvenience, but I was wondering if I could have a word with you over by the counter. I'm sorry for this rude interruption. It won't take long. Okay, they're going to do their cool drug deal. I can hear the conversation of Oh My and Leo Decapitano. Ohio and Florida did some terrible things. I believe you. As someone who lives in Florida, I believe you. Okay, Oh My. The next deal is at the pier in Clean Bay. That's right. The time is set and everyone should be there. Cool. Who are you? Get away from here, you're annoying. What's your problem? What are you doing walking around this restaurant? People without manners are not allowed in this restaurant. Waiter, come here. Escort this gentleman outside immediately. I understand, sir. Okay. Please come this way, sir. You are pathetic. You have no manners, no life. Get out of here. You rapscallion! All right, guys. I'll leave the rest up to you. What the? Not a problem. This guy might be an informant. Let's see if he's wired. Strip him down. It's cool. Very cool. I have been stripped down to my underwear. There goes 3,000 gold! He's not wired and doesn't have a gun. He's just some punk kid. You're just a punk kid checking out an expensive restaurant. We're going to teach you a lesson. Well, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. You're gonna have to learn not to stick your nose in other people's business, punk. Oh, jeez. Uh, we have to fight without our super suit. Oh, we're still strong as hell. This game rocks. This game rocks. This game owns. <laughs> See, we don't need our super suit. We're still tough. Bam! Fighting in our skibbies and our cool red shoes. For a punk, you put up a good fight. We'll let you live today. Ow. Ow. Hey, we got our pants back. All's well that ends well. Time to go to the bay. They should form a band. Yeah, the primary brothers. Because they're, you know, they're primary colors and they're, they're boys, so... I think that's a good band name. I think that's good. I should have good manners in a restaurant. I don't go to fancy-schmancy restaurants, okay? I don't talk to these intellectuals. These freaks. Who think that they need the etiquette and fancy talk. Just get fucking... Uh, 
Wendy's like the rest of us. Damn. <laughs> oh. Power slam. I love how high the jump kicks send people. It's so good. Who else wants some? You? You? Oh god, the shotgun man. Ow! Slam! Easy. Hey, Danny Data. How's it going, buddy? Go to the bistro skip and get the info needed from Omai's oh meeting. After that, return to the chief. Oh, okay. Okay. We need to... Oh, we were just investigating. We're not here to bust anybody yet. I'll, I'll toddle my way back to conserve a little bit of, uh, battle points. So we gotta go talk to the chief. We gotta go let him know. We gotta let him know the down low. Let him know what's going on in this horrid, horrid clean bay. At least Danny Data's on our side. Who are you? I've never seen this guy before. He's got a cool pig shirt. Never take a situation lightly. Take time to think and learn from every situation you experience. That is all. Have a good day. <laughs> He's pigged off. What's wrong, Mr. Pig? Are you jealous you don't have a pig shirt? Bada bing, bada boom. I'm back in action. I'm scampering around the police department. As all good heroes are known to do. That's the Sonic Adventure door open noise. Reused assets. You're dating a screen printer. You could get a pig shirt. Whoa, congrats. You should get a pigged off t-shirt. I think that'd be good. Chief, I have great news. I got kicked out and stripped. You found out that the arms deal is taking place at Clean Bay Pier. Nice job, hero. Detective Clue, gather some men and head to the pier immediately. Yes, sir. I'll gather some men and head there now. I like that his collar's popped. He's cool. Be careful and be sure to get every one of those evil men. They're all evil, they're all foul, they all said mean things. Can you believe that? They called my hat stupid. I haven't worn my hat in weeks because of them. Arrest them immediately. Oh, those rapscallions. I can't stand it when they talk about my hat. It's going to be so cool. I'm going to wear it when I look them right in the eye when they're behind bars. Hey, Asha. Welcome in. Yeah, I imagine Sega in a lot of places kind of borrowed from similar sound pools. So that way, um, it was easier to just supplement things like that. Especially in this early budding era of 3D where, you know, more things, more things had more stuff going on. It was more important that you had a lot of sound effects on all sorts of random environmental stuff. Like when you look at um older NES, any 8-bit, 16-bit games, you can see you can see how things don't need a lot of stuff. Like um look at Mega Man 2. Look at Mega Man 2 with Metal Man stage. Um where's the pier? I don't know if I know where the pier is, but we'll find it. Mega Man 2 has a lot of like moving gears and stuff going on in the background, but because it's an 8-bit game, that's not really something you prioritize, not really something you think about. Um so you don't really need to worry about sound effects for all the gears and stuff going on because it's such like an older game and just having the music and like your gun sound effect is enough. But um, now when things got a bit more modernized, when you had a lot more going on with your visuals and your um, in general direction, it just made more sense to have stuff at the ready so you can have all these fancy sound effects and make everything feel more alive. You're picking up what I'm putting down, you're catching my drift. Ow. 
He caught my drift. Perish. Okay, where's the pier at? Oh, I bet it's behind the crate here. Oh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> hey, buddy. On Detective Clue, there aren't many places to hide. We need to find a place to hide. All right, we'll hide behind those containers. There they go. <laughs> Every single character has such a goofy running animation. Okay, good. This is a good hiding spot. All we have to do now is wait for them to show up. Once everyone is in place and the arms deal start, go in and break everything up. We'll follow you and arrest them all. Okay. I'm gonna pop another battery real quick. We could use a battery. Way too much work for too many assets when you could just use what you know. Exactly, exactly. Movies and TVs do it all the time. Yeah, you can have like you can have like a guy go into like take a just a little sip out of a can and you'll hear like <laughs> because they have to make it more animated. They have to make it more real. Nah, I'm I'm good on health. I would like to upgrade my suit. I wonder how much money I have to like donate to get a super suit. Okay, where are the boys? Where are the bad boys? They're not over here. Maybe over here. Ba bam. Ba bam. Ba bam. I love that like metal synth sound effect. It's so good. It makes me so happy every time I hear it. The monsters in the first area had the House of the Dead insert coin noise. <laughs> that's good. The orchestral hit. Yes, that's what it's called. If all goes well, all of the gangs can be captured at once with this arm deal. Yes, Digimon World uses it. Mega Man Legends uses it. It's so good. Oh, and Fantasy Star. Okay, I see. I see. Where are the guys? I didn't, like, literally have to wait for them, do I? <laughs> I don't see no guys. You're not here in, like, the middle, are you? Oh. Metal Mario and Mario 64. Oh yeah. It's just it's just good sounds. They just know good sounds. I wonder when the weapons deal is going to start. I hope it starts soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, men. We must capture those villains. Be careful and be strong. Once everyone is in place and the arms deal start, go in and break everything up. We'll just follow you and arrest them all. Thank you for the follow, Z-Man. Welcome in. I should update my follower goal thing. It's been at 1k for a while, and we're long since past that. 90666! He's the fucking devil! We gotta book him now! I can't wait to see how much profit I'll make today. He's also 90666. These guys are all working with the devil. Get him! The cappuccino boss has arrived. God, he's so big. Hello, oh my. I bet you like the food at the restaurant. I hope all goes well with this deal. The Udi boss has arrived. Oh, that guy. I hate that guy. Shamalama. Has everyone arrived? Let's get this weapons deal done. Harakiri boss. Whoa, he's cool. <laughs> if it's money you need, I have a whole lot of it. I'll buy everything today. The Heaven's Devil boss. Whoa. I heard that the Dynamite Dogs boss is going to be late because he doesn't have the money yet. 
Mr. Oh My, let's get this show on the road. All right then, let's get started. Oh My has started his weapons deal with the other gang members. Very unfortunate design. Auto mod. <laughs> Grand, what? Hold. Auto mod. I use ad permitted term Grand Dragon. Huh? Thank you, Kenster. <laughs> Grand Dragon? That's a new one. I do not want to know. Okay. What? That's a real thing? <laughs> huh? I know, like, I've heard of, like, Grand Wizard as, like, the fucking KKK guy, but Grand Dra What? Huh? I'm uneducated. I just need to take it out on these bad guys. Let's get him! The dragon is like the wizard. Is he even bigger than the wizard? Is he even more powerful? That's crazy. Who are you? You've seen too much. You can't leave here alive now. It's the Renta Hero. He's the guy who's supposed to save everyone from the bad guys. Rent a hero or rent a house. Whatever your name is, it doesn't matter. You're mine, punk. It's just one of him against the rest of us. We got this guy. Here comes the fuzz. I'm Detective Clue. You're all under arrest. Harakiri is cool. He's like a fucking Tekken character. The police are here too? We need to get out of here. What's this all about? This was a setup, wasn't it? I will not be arrested. You'll have to catch me if you can. Haha, <laughs> come and get me if you can. What the? We were set up. They're all scampering. I'm Detective Clue. Don't let any of them get away. Let's get them. Okay, they're running off. Where'd you go? Come back. Um, no rapscallions. Aha! Let me help. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, he's he's got it. He's got it covered. He's got it covered. Um, we'll wait to see if anybody gets their ass kicked, I guess. Just making sure. Damn, we're on top of things. Way to go, boys! Oh, I'll have to take care of you guys and myself. Ooh. Damn, I'm so strong. I'm so powerful. Oh god, he's got help. He's got help. Renmato, welcome in. Thank you for seven months of subscribing to Small Time G Pool. Oh my god. He just hit me with the headbutt, dude. What the hell? Slam! Slam! I have a beam sword, by the way. I seldom use my beam sword, but I have a beam sword. If you even care. <laughs> they, okay, Shyamalama's down. We beat his ass. Hooray! Anybody else need help? Another Sonic Team noise? Oh, yeah. I can't get captured here. Oh, he's got a gun. What? He, like, deflated. I don't like his sounds. Oh, God. Ooh, yeah. His hair escaping his fat rolls. He's trying to squeeze one out. Oh, dear. Okay, we got him down, too. We're doing such a great job. We're getting rid of all the villains in all the land at once. Our super awesome technique. Um, I should go check on the other guys, I think. They might need help tussling. I wasn't allowed to tussle before, but maybe now. Maybe now. I'll take... Oh, I think I might have been talking to the police and not the guys, which is the issue. Great, I, 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 I. Great, him. 
Oh, so all the guys we've been fighting, they're all different, like, gang members of these different things. That's cool. Ow! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I should have eaten a burger. Why does hate and peace colored? Um, well, obviously his iframes are related to that sort of thing. Oh. No! No! Damn it! No! Fuck! Ah. Oh, I should have eaten a fucking burger. The police who were taken into custody of some mob bosses who were making a weapons deal. Hey, well, we helped. We still helped. We still won. But now we don't get our fucking payday. Aw, oh, we've, we've, we've had this conversation before, ma'am. We've had this conversation before. Damn it! I should have eaten a burger! Well, time to go home, I guess. Go to Clean Bay. Oh. We can just go back. We can just go back? Maybe? He has left me a message. Oh, okay. We can still go back. We can still save this, you guys. We can still come through. Hooray. We had enough time to get hospitalized and fixed up, and now we're going to go right back into the front. We're going to go right back to the war. Don't worry, boys. I'm a coming. Right after I save my game. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Bye! Okay, I gotta get to the train station stat. Bang! Wait, the train's over here. I gotta get their stat! I gotta go! They need me! We have to put away all those bad guys. Okay. Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> we almost left the area. <laughs> don't worry, I got it. I'm back on top. I'm rested, I'm recovered. I hope that I don't have to I hope I don't have to refight all the other guys that we beat so far. Um let's see. Oh I don't know. I don't remember if there was a guy there. boss is gone, so I guess that's the end of our game. The dynamite dog's boss was lucky that he had to get his money. The lucky fool. Okay, so they reprimanded that guy, but we still have to take down fucking, um, Harakiri. Ha <laughs> ha! Come get me! I'll take care of you all! I was so worried that we were just gonna fail the entire mission. I don't care about my money. I'll lose half my money. I don't want to lose the mission. Got him with the beam saber. They never see the beam saber coming. This is a real swelty two bop. <laughs> a swelty two bop. Slam! Power move! Oh god. Slam! Get arrested. Your ass is grass. Oh no, I'm the 13th leader of Harakiri. Harakiri will be back! Okay, Shamalam is detained. Other guys should be detained still. So now we just have to track down the, uh, the actual dealer. Detective Clue gotta be on him. Hi Squeaky, welcome in. Good afternoon. There they are. I'm a master in martial arts. Woo! Achoo! Cool. And he just has random boys with him for fun. Yeah! Tetsu. Rent a hero is going wonderfully. 
This game continues to be endlessly charming. It's so fun. It's so cool. I'm having a blast. Aye, aye, aye. He wasn't kidding. He is a master of martial arts. The kick into the slam. They never survive that. They never come back from that. Whoa, he, he swept the leg. No way. Got him. Wait! Got him. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I, I really like the, the hero outfit. The models are good. Who am I? What happened? I can't remember anything. Mr. Oh My has gone into shock after being beaten by rent -a hero He has lost his memory. We've taken down all the biggest criminals in one day. Damn. Good work. Everybody? Good fucking work. <laughs> They're all being reprimanded. Hell yeah. I'm Detective Clue. We were able to capture Oh My and all the other villains. Let's take them to jail. See the chief to get your reward. Oh man, we lost. Okay. Wow, we put down all the biggest villains except for that one guy, the Dynamite Dogs chief. He's uh he's still missing somewhere. I'm going to have a rice burger. I earned this. I earned that rice burger. No, we don't need to use our battery yet. Hey, Kern, you. My renting duties are going well. They're going fantastic. We just put away five of the biggest criminals in the city. Five gang bosses all in one big swoop. I wonder how much more is left of the game. <laughs> I've been thinking about that, like, the length of this game, because it seems like we're, we're really getting into the nitty-gritty. We just put away so many crime bosses that I can't... I don't know what, what all is going to be left. Anyway, we got to go get a reward from the chief. We got to go back to the Lofi, Lofi Beats um, chief domain. The police is cool. This this track actually does kind of remind me of Sonic Adventure a little bit. Um, since we were on the topic earlier about all the Dreamcast comparisons. Hey, detective. We've captured only four biggest gangs. Only Dynamite Dogs is left now. Thanks to you, rent -a hero Our plans have succeeded. We're grateful. Here's your reward. Please take this reward. Yay! Great job, Detective Clue. Go ahead. Take a little break and get some rest. Thank you, Chief. I'll be on my way then. The Lo-Fi Station Square. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like the casino level in that game. Harakiri, Udi, Heaven's Devils, and the Cappuccinos are all behind bars thanks to you, Rent-A-Hero. Without their leaders, their gangs are weak. Soon they'll disperse completely. Dynamite Dogs is the only one left. Only Dynamite Dogs is left. We'll be able to handle them ourselves. I should hope so, Chief. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like the whole, there's the whole underground level of the casino. That one's cool. Sonic Adventure's a good game. I was watching Raya and Gigas stream that last night, and it always just reminds me of how cool that game is. It's very goofy and quirky. Like, it's got a lot of the same heart that, like, other Dreamcast games like this and Shenmue have. Where they just kind of, like, give you a fun location to run around, and then eventually you'll, like, do actual game stuff. That's what- I like this era of games for that sort of thing. Oh! Getting, a, getting into a fight the second we step out of the, the police department. Slam! The drum kick! Oh, don't fight in front of the pizza place. Whoa. Aw, oh, I missed my cool bicycle kick. Sonic Adventure is definitely a game you come back to often very comfy. Mm-hmm. 
Dare say it, I like Sonic Adventure 1 more than Adventure 2. I'll say it. I'll be brave. I'll use my words. Okay, I've got thousands and thousands in the bank, so no need to worry about that. I want to stop by New Dork. I want to run by the, um, the secret base and I can to see if there's anything we can do. Perhaps, like, a leveling up our suit or something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think people are coming around on Sonic Adventure 1. Not, not to discredit 2, because Sonic Adventure 2 is still quite a fun game. But I really like how um, the first one's presented. It, like, it has the whole adventure angle. You're running around trying to see new places, and yeah, sure, then you get to levels and do stuff. But like, part of the adventure is going to run around and like just see the sights and go to new places and everything. Adventure 2 you personally like more for the story, but gameplay more in SA1? Oh, for sure. Like, I think Adventure 2's story is more solid, but wouldn't it be cool if there were little adventure fields to run around and experience that story in? Personally, I think so. I like the Sonic games where you're actively, like, avoiding playing, <laughs> playing Sonic, like SA1 and Sonic 06. You just get to run around into a big field, and sure, you can play a level if you want, but you can also just run around and frolic and have fun. Okay, does anybody have any toys for me? Hey, Doc. Combat armor is the weapon that will save the world. It's the key to peace and harmony. What's up? Did you come here to see Mew or Meg? They're cute, but be careful. Yeah, I sure did. Mew is over here. Hi, Mew. Your workload is increasing. Thanks to you, our business is booming. Yep. Wait, I've never been this way. What's over here? Hold on. Oh! I, I didn't... A total of 50 hip hips should be handed a second. Oh, I didn't know this was over here. Somehow I've missed this entire area. We, that's how we upgrade our, our BP, our battle points and stuff. I've been, I've been stowing all my hip pips into attack and defense, but we need to bring them here. We're running around like chickens with our heads cut off. I may be screaming, but it's a scream for joy. Come on, yeah, any, any hip pips just lying around in the vicinity? That'd be cool. In these boxes? On this board? Okay. Sonic games just didn't do hubs as well after Adventure 1, and then they made the game that was all hub. Yeah, Frontiers, I think, I think Frontiers overall is like a good game, but there are definitely some things that I'm not like as into um, with this compared to some other stuff. I think, I think there's a good, there is good stuff in Sonic Frontiers, but it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. <laughs> We're thinking of advertising Sika products. Some of those products will be t-shirts, hats, and even dentures. When you wear your armor, do you feel that it doesn't fit? Or you, or maybe it's too heavy? No. Great. I'm glad we have a perfect fit for a perfect hero. Oh, don't- Oh, they're, they're trying to butter me up. Let me go. I gotta buy my batteries. What does the energy tank do? Oh. Oh. Oh, let's buy that. Absolutely, yes. Okay, yeah, let's use that immediately. Yes! Hooray! Now we have more battery points. Okay, let's go. We seen you jump ain't heavy at all. No, it is not. It fits perfectly in my brain, in my awesome cool power suit. The Mega Man fan you thought it'd be an E-Tank, but never mind. Yeah, well, I mean, it is, it did say energy tank, but no, it's for your, your battle 
your BT, your battle points. Oh, I didn't buy any batteries like I said I was going to. We can stop by Hold and Hold Up Mart. It's fine. And then we'll go home, we'll log into the Creamcast, and we'll see what other cool what other cool and awesome things we can find. Oh yeah, yeah, my uh my dragon design. The uh <laughs> my modeler made it very literally like the Digimon design, but I think it's nice. I've got I've got dino motifs on all of my models. Is that a simple they get on their season three cards? That is correct. You nailed it. I think now our total battery is at 96. Yes. We're so strong. We I guess we need to use our money to buy a bunch of buy a bunch of E-tanks and build up our BT. I thought you'd have to upgrade your suit to do that, but we can just buy them outright, apparently. Well, I've got tons of money in the bank, too, so... Maybe we'll... maybe we'll consider that option in the future. Digimon Tamers is my favorite of the Digimon animes. I think they're all, like, pretty good. I haven't seen every single anime series from Digimon, but I like all of them. Yes, this this model has a lot of love of my favorite things. Mega Man Legends, Roll in particular, because she she's the best. She's the best. Um, we've got Digimon. We've got all sorts of fun, exciting things going on. Evil meets its end. Thanks to the thanks to the, the success of Rent a Hero, we were able to drive the evil gangs within Arrow City to annihilation. I am deeply grateful for your cooperation in helping us seize control of Weapons Trading Site. She in those short shorts, man. Buddy, you don't gotta tell me. I know all about the short shorts. They're such an important part of her character. <gasps> Jason! Jason! From Holly Monitor. What's up with Jason? Holly might someday play Legends. I bet they'd love rules design. Holly has to play Legends. If if Holly never played Mega Man Legends, that would be a hor that'd be a horrible moment in our friendship. Holly Monitor, the headmaster of a school in Hangover Park, has requested your services. A boy named Jason Wood is out of control. He's in the gymnasium. Okay. Let's go put a stop to old Jason. And we got nine hours, nine and a half hours in this game, even longer because we did a we did a couple like um save scummy moments in the previous stream, but um, good game. It's got quite a bit of quite a bit of meat on it. Don't worry, everybody. The school's right around the corner. Maybe we'll get to see Sagata. Our good buddy Sagata Sanchiro is just there as like a teacher. He's the gym teacher, it's awesome. Everyone's always afraid because they have to go to gym class and get beat up. Well thank you, Asha. I hope you have a good rest of your day. It's a very, very cool game. I've been constantly just like over like overwhelmed by how cool it is. Hello. Jason is going crazy in the gymnasium. He doesn't seem normal. He must be on some sort of drug. All the students and teachers tried to control Jason, but they have all gotten hurt. Oh no. Jason, what did you do? Is this that drug that makes you go crazy that I've heard so much about? A girl, rent a hero went in earlier. I hope she's going to be okay. Oh, that's Hiroko. We gotta help Hiroko. Jason's too strong. Out of my way. Are you the principal? Rent a hero, we've been waiting for you. Jason is inside going crazy. He has challenged Sagata Sanchiro to a fight. Sagata Sanchiro is lost though. No way. Even after he has beaten Sagata Sanchiro, he still seems strange. He is still pumped up on something. Please stop this maniac, we're counting on you. All right, corporal punishment, here we come. Damn, whoa, <laughs> he fucking killed this guy. I am hurting in this position. I think I broke my butt bone. Sagata? Ultra salary man? I can't believe I lost to a student. I'm so embarrassed. 
Even ultra salary, man. Hey, that's that guy's son. If I didn't work all night yesterday, I might have had enough energy to have beaten him. All right. All right. Ah! I will not let this violence continue. Whoa! No! All right, looks like it's up to us. Who dares challenge me? I'll beat anyone who challenges me. Oh my god, he's turning red. That stuff is crazy. Oh, oh. oh wait, we got him, we got him. Oh fuck, he's much faster than I expected. What? No way. have to bring out all the stops. He's, he hits like a truck. He's so fast. No! Oh my god, this isn't looking well. No! Damn it! Hey, hold on. Uh, hold on. Did that, um... Did that cause me trouble? Do I just have to run back there? Or should I reload my save? <laughs> no, hold on. We, we, we gotta reload. Guys, we gotta reload. We gotta reload. We go. Guys, guys, we gotta reload. We gotta reload. This is important. This is important. We gotta reload. We don't we don't we don't miss that. We're gonna save the day. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna save the day. Okay? Okay? Cool. Fantastic. Wonderful. Fantastic. He came at me so fast, I wasn't ready. Okay, let's go. This time, I understand. I understand what's going on. We're not gonna lose. Meow. Save scum. <laughs> mm-hmm. We love, we love running around in the save scum. I want to see all the cool plot points. Hey, Jordan. How's it going? I know you're already here, but I'm asking you again. Just in case anything's changed since the last time. You're full of soup. Hell yeah. That's just the way to be. I'm actually not even that big on soup, though, so I'm just talking out of my ass, I guess. Don't worry. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm gonna save him. Do I have to talk to you? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Chimkin soup. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we're allowed in. I can't believe Ultra Salary Man got beat. He's so angry. He's so angry. Get out of there, Hiroko. No! Ham soup? What do you put in a ham soup? Just ham and water? <laughs> ham! Damn, he's so scary. He turns red and evil. <laughs> oh, got him with a slam. We love a good slam. No. Damn, he's so strong. He hits like a truck. You put the broth out of ham bones and put ham in it, and it's ham soup. I see. I see. Damn it. You got us with a love tap. You got us with a little love tap. You hate to see that. But I've got a beam sword. He doesn't have such a he doesn't have such trickery. No, it's it takes so long to use that move. I want to hit him with it so bad. Oh, oh my god, he got me with the rising kick. But we've almost got him. We've almost got him, chat. What'd you call a cereal a type of soup? I don't know. Oh my god. Goodness, I don't know if I'm ready for that level of debate. 
Okay, we've apprehended the criminal. We've tired him out. I just wanted to beat Sakata Sachiro and be the strongest in the school. The other day, some young punk challenged me to a fight. I took his challenge and beat him up. The punk then offered me some drugs and told me that I would be stronger. He told me that if I was that I was strong with these drugs, I would be ten times stronger. And I thought I could take this drug and beat Sakata Sanchiro to become the strongest in the school. I didn't think it would make me go this crazy, though. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have taken drugs. Please forgive me. Uh-oh. Mama's coming. <laughs> Jason? What were you thinking? You are gonna get it now, boy. The principal called me and told me what was going on. I told you time and time again, boy. Be good in school, and, but you don't listen. You're in major trouble, boy. When we get home, Pop and Mama are gonna give you a power bomb, boy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ma. Please, not the power bomb. I couldn't walk for three days the last time you power bombed me. <laughs> no, anything but that. What does that mean? Are you not a fan of wrestling? Where they pick you up, they hold you up, and they slam your back into the ground? It's awesome. It's cool. <laughs> I have to go back to work now. There he goes. Ultra Salary Man seems to be busy. I have to get going as well. See you later. Ciao, ciao. We did it. Are you okay? If I was to beat Jason, the teacher promised me to wipe him off my tardy list. But I couldn't beat him, so I still have my record. I can't believe I lost to a student. I am so embarrassed. Please don't talk to me. I'm in too much pain. This is a good song. I wanted to beat Sagata Sancho before anyone else, but some young punk came in and beat him before me. Then he beat me up. Jason had taken some sort of drug that made him crazy. He couldn't even recognize my face. Poor butt bone man. He broke his butt bone. His fucking leg. <laughs> You won't be getting away with this. You will be punished. Ah. Jason said he was going to fight Sagata Sanchiro and told me to watch. Time to drink a wonderful energy drink. Hooray. Alright. Job well done. Okay, everyone who's... Let's help those who are injured inside. Jason has been taken care of and nobody got severely hurt, so I can relax now. This is your reward. Hallelujah. Thanks to you, we are saved. Thank you. Aw. The music's over. That was cool. Another day of heroing. We're so cool. Everybody loves us. We saved the day. Jason wasn't able to kill us. We're stronger than ever. We earned a lot of respect with Hiroko, I bet. And even Ultra Salary Man. Our best buddy, Ultra Salary Man. Too cool for school, because we just left it. Exactly. We've already done one class of school. That's enough for our semester, I think. We're busy. We got hero stuff to do. Thank you for pacifying Jason while he was on a rampage. The school is now peaceful, and it's all thanks to the efforts of G-Pool. G-Pool is strong! 
However, I don't think you are the strongest. I heard a rumor Jason's mother is a former professional female wrestler. Oh, uh, I would I would hate to see Jason's mother fall down a path of villainy. I hope she uses her power for justice. Oh, Jason. Apologies for the inconvenience, rent -a hero I'm so sorry. My mom told me if I didn't apologize, she would powerbomb me. I don't want to get powerbombed. I really just wanted to beat that Sagata guy and prove I was the strongest. But nobody is stronger than you except my mom. Next time, I will challenge him to a fight and use my own strength to win. I can definitely do it. As for the up her, it's for losers. The up her, that must be the drug. Interesting. What do we got here? Hi, Mew. Missing researchers. Forest and haired. Oh, we're going back to the tunnel again. Forest and haired. That's a funny joke based on cars. ancient ruin which seems to date back as far as 3000 BC has been discovered. It is located in Cornhole Valley. It seems that three archaeological researchers were investigating the ruins. They are now missing. Please go to the tunnel site and meet Forrest and Haird, the leader of the research team, for further information. Okay. Oops, wrong button. I wanted to save. Wait, is that new? That is new. Jack Hammer! Yes! Jack Hammer! <laughs> it is a Harrison Ford pun. <laughs> Bonjour! Now that I've mastered the way of the keyboard war here, I've come to understand the fun of the internet. Although, that being said, there were some confusing internet-related words I couldn't understand. Thankfully, Mew told me via email. One word that I kept hearing is .com, so I'm wondering how to get a computer with polka dots on it. When I asked Mew where to get one, she wouldn't tell me and she just laughed instead. She also sent an email saying LOL, whatever that means. Anyway, I dug up ancient ruins after tunneling. It's scary! <laughs> <laughs> Never change, Jack. You're the perfect human being. Yes, I'm so happy for Jack. He's so excited. Anyway, I dug up ancient ruins. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna take a quick, quick break um, to use the restroom and whatnot. To, you know, to do some very important hero business. And we will go talk to uh, Ferris and Horde and get those researchers and ancient ruins sorted out before long so i will brb get your swelty two blues in chat because um those kids are gonna start screaming blue okay i will brb wow robots mega man's everywhere computers games tv everywhere i love mega man mega man I need more Mega Man games. More, more, more. I think Mega Man is cool. Call Mega Man blue bomber because he's blue. Blue, 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 blue. Mega Man. Mega Man. Each game sold separately. Capcom. Capcom. Rated E for everyone. Keep your antenna up. Masked Rider is coming to town. Wow. Toy stores across America are rushing in the latest Masked Rider toys. Look for the action figures, and don't forget the amazing... Let's roll! ...talking combat chopper. Coming soon to a toy store near you. We'll get that Masked Rider, or we're not the mutant marauders. Wow. Whee! Masked Rider, but she got guts! Bandai. Action. Satisfaction. Are you sick and tired of putting out fires, cutting the grass, taking out the trash, solving crime, and wasting your time? Why not have a robot do all the work? Cubix, premiering this September, only in the Fox Box. Ready to rock and roll, Cubix? Ready. Security alert. The perimeter of Robix Corp has been breached. Robots multiplying at increasing rate. Cubix, robots for everyone. Premiering this September, only in the Fox Box. A 
on the road of life, second chances are rare. Watch out, kid! But for Yusuke Yurameshi, fate has intervened. This is weird. You have all that's required to be detective of the spirit world. That's a fancy title. Between the world of the living and the realm of the dead, he is both champion and protector. Yu Yu Hakusho premieres Monday, March 3rd at 6. Now die. Only Tsunami. Digimon the movie coming to theaters October 6th. GameCube. We believe there are five perpetrators. I've never seen anything like it. There's fruit everywhere. Look what they did to my taxi. Donkey Kong is back in an adventure so big, it's taking the country by storm. In reaction, the governor has called in additional troops. We believe one of them looks like this. I'd like to tell you the situation is under control, but it isn't. This turbocharged game has better graphics, more moves, bigger bosses, huge worlds. It's so big, we included an expansion pack to get it all in. They didn't even tip me! And now, this. Donkey Kong 64, and you thought insanity was crazy. Heaven help us all. フィギュアの常識を変える排泊技術の結晶である。SH Use the trample head to extend your reach. Use the Tower of Eddie to sneak up and hurl the El Mongo Sting Bomb. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the Miss Ed Ventures. Available now. Rated E for everyone. Whatever. A world under siege where the baddest bosses rule. Who will save us? Mega Man. Join him on his ultimate quest in 3D. Who are his friends? Who are his enemies? Danger rocks around every corner. Mega Man uses awesome firepower to battle diabolical forces. Amazing home stop blasting action. Who can save the cities from destruction? Don't call up Rama. It's all in a day's work for Mega Man. Let's do it! Welcome. Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. Juni got the Jubonich on sale. Hello. I have returned in form, fashion, and whatnot. Welcome in. Welcome in, Bonnie Face. Welcome in, Melty Kit. Welcome back, everybody. Um, we've just. Got an assignment to go find researchers who are lost in ancient ruins that we have just learned about. And it's very exciting and very cool and we're going to be so good at our job and we're going to do that right away. Because we're 
heroes after all. How's everybody's day going? How was your weekend so far? Did you get up to anything cool? Did you do anything sweet? Um, work on anything? Any cool projects you got? You got down the pipeline? Um, what's going on with you guys in your creative realms? I've got a few things I've been working on at the moment. Setting up for, um, I guess the next tournament is going to be the big thing. Um, our bi-monthly VTuber tournaments that I've run around here on the Swelty 2 g Pool channel. Um, that one should be coming up mid-March, so look forward to that. I'm not ready to say what it's going to be quite yet, but it's going to be a good one. Just trust me on that. I've been getting everybody together, getting stuff um, figured out, sorted, ready to go. Goku! Are you going to join the tournament this time? You're always talking about how much you love tournaments, but I have yet to see you um, try to join one of these yet. Is it because video games are hard? I understand. They're not easy. Digging, digging. Of course you're going to find something. That's the way it goes. Who's the head researcher? We can't work if they don't let us in the tunnel. Are you the head researcher? Hey, Happy Toaster, how's it going? I've been waiting for you, hero. I'm Forrest and Herd, the research team leader. We've been researching this tunnel ever since they found ancient ruins. The tournament needs to be in a hundred times gravity. Yeah, maybe then it'll sound appealing. Goku will be able to lift his thumb with relative ease while everybody else is like way, like smashed on the ground, being pushed through the Earth's crust. But Goku's having fun. The problem is that we're we've been losing men in this tunnel. Currently, three men are missing from our team. There was a small earthquake earlier, and we're worried that they may be trapped inside somewhere. Please help us find the missing archaeologist. I'll get right on it. Saving people is my special ability. What the? <gasps> Scary. What happened? It's a curse! It's a curse! King Hut has cursed us all! Well, that's one of them. I can find them. This is <laughs> what heroic dunks are good at. I'm the best. <laughs> that's true, Thrash. You'll, you'll help me sniff them out. You'll get their scent, and you'll use your robot abilities to uh, track them down, see the trails, and everything. You're so good at that. I love you, Thrash. Thank you. This is one of our missing archaeologists, Dr. Hump. He has passed out. I wonder what he means by King Hut's curse. Uh, we should find the rest of these guys fast. If we stay around here too long, we'll be cursed as well. Let's get out of here. Oh, he's, he's not in that big of a hurry. All the accidents around here are caused by that curse. I won't be able to work. My wife is going to be angry. I'm afraid to tell her. That's the guy who's, that's Jason's dad. He's married to the pro wrestler. I don't want to be cursed. I'm out of here. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this. As long as you don't believe in it, it can't hurt you. That's a fact of life. Alright, let's see. We've been in here a time or two in the past, trying to, trying to find people who are in peril. And now we're looking for some ancient ruins. Are they even further down here? There's a big boulder in front of you. Will you destroy it? Well, if a big boulder presents itself to me in such a way, I can't not. Now we get to move on. Hopefully we'll be able to help those guys before it's too late. Whoa. Holy shit. I, I know they said ruins, but they weren't kidding. This is cool. This is scary. The place is lit so dark. <gasps> Are you okay? Help me! Please help me! I can't move! Get me out of here! Please help me! There must be a way to move this statue. Maybe you could punch this statue and destroy it. Alright, let's give it a shot. Ha! Yeah, I don't know. I guess something happened down here and it just fell on him. Wow, you did it! You destroyed the statue! 
Thank you, hero. Oh, oh, all better. Oh, it hurts. I think I broke my leg. I'm sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Dr. Dump, the archaeologist who I was with. I was with Dr. Hump and Dr. Bones investigating the, these ruins. I was hoping it would be a, um, a hump and dump and pump, maybe. But no, Dr. Bones. He's just really throwing things. He's throwing things through a wrench. As we were investigating, we discovered that these ruins used to belong to King Hut. We found something, though. We found a gold mask. A cursed gold mask. The three of us were amazed by this mask as we tried to touch it. I am the soul of King Hut. Those who disturb my treasures will lose their souls to me. We heard that voice, and the mask started to glow. We were all scared, so we ran away. As we ran away, the ground started to shake. That's when the statue fell on me. Dr. Bones was behind me. I believe he's still trapped inside. There. Yeah, oh, Ultra Salary Man. Hey, how's it going? Looks like I was a little late. Well, two down. We have one more person to save. Hell yeah. Your friend gave you this dump. Gave me this dump name. It has to mean something very nice. <laughs> True. This gate is closed shut. I wonder how we can open it. Let's try to figure this thing out. What if I punch it? We can't punch it. What do you got? Do you have any clues, any ideas? Why is the gate closed? It was open earlier. When you ran to I wonder hero, how you operate this thing. Be kind and your hero. True. 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 Always, always remember to be kind and rewind, everybody. Oh. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That's why he's pacing back and forth. Wow, the gate is open. I see. The key to the gate was these switches on the floor. I see what happened. The statues kept the gate open, and when the statues fell over, the gate closed. Like wise Renta Will said, it's rewind time. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's trying so hard. As long as we figure out the structure of this place, the rest is easy. I'll stand on the switch. Someone needs to stand on the other one. Then one of us should get Dr. Bones. Whatever is behind that gate is too scary for me. Rent-a-Hero wouldn't be scared of anything, right? I'll take care of this. You stand on the switch while I get Dr. Bones. Okay. There he goes. <laughs> what the? No way! No way I'm going any further! There are mummies and things back there! You go! That's what about what I expected from Ultra Salary Man. I'll stand on the switch so you can go inside and save Dr. Bones. I'll give you the credit this time. Okay. Mummies and scary things? Whoa, he wasn't kidding. There's just mummies here. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, they're they're chumps. Ooh, spooky scary. Oh, Doctor Bones, he's been possessed by the gold mask. I am the legendary King Hut. I have taken Indy Bones' body and reincarnated my soul. Oh, that's why he's Dr. Bones. Wow, wow, it's wow, a wow, Indiana wow. reference. Are you scared, Thrash? It'll, it'll, be okay. it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm here. I'm here to keep you safe and sound. I have never lost a battle in my life. Everyone will bow beneath me. Yeah, well, hold on. Oh, he's got a lot of health. But he's pretty slow, so I'm not... I'm not super worried. Whoa, there's a room over there, too. Exciting. 
I bet he also hates snakes, probably. Whoa! He's got the shadow step, no way! <laughs> ow, ow! Come on, dude. Yeah, he's much less tough than, say, a mafia boss of some sort. But he is blue, and that's pretty cool. Mommy is no match for a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick to the face. <laughs> that's true. Ow. Ooh. Let's get this off of you, Dr. Bones. Oh. With this new, young, and fresh body, I'll be able to rule this land again. One day we will meet again. I will save my energy until the that day and destroy you. Okay, like there's there's a paranormal world going on here now. I thought this was like a, a high tech sci fi fantasy realm, but there's fa there's fantasy mummies and magic in this realm too. <laughs> Rent a hero's got it all. Well, what happened? Where am I? Who are you and what's going on? What? I was possessed. You saved me. Thank you, hero. I don't know what happened, but I thank you. I'll follow you out. Can you please lead the way? Hey, we did it. You're amazing. You found Mommy all three the of the magic. missing archaeologists. Let's get out of here. Card again? <laughs> Mummies and magic? Oh, that sounds like a fun one. Like eels and escalators or um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe. Sagata was kind of hinting this world ain't exactly too realistic. That's fair. That's fair. It's mostly science fiction, but maybe an episode or two is dedicated to the occult. There, there were those cultists who were trying to sacrifice beautiful women for some reason or another. I'm glad you guys are alright. Let's take you to the hospital. Dr. Humph is already there, so we should see how he's doing as well. We did it, gamers. We saved the day. Thank you for finding the missing archaeologists. Please take this reward as part of our appreciation. Woo! Big money. Scared to ask why his name is Hump. I thought they were going for like a Humpty Dumpty thing, which maybe they are. But then they had Dr. Bones, which kind of just threw that through a loop. So I don't know. How much money do I have? Probably quite a bit. Oh, we have to go to we have to go all the way to status to see our cash. Uh, that's quite a bit. We should probably put some in the bank, maybe. So before we go on home, we can we can take a stop at the the old bank. Oh, we got into a frame one battle. Cacao! Ow! Damn it. Oh, hello, big man. Goodbye, big man. Wow. This game is so sick, dude. <laughs> it's so much fun, and it's got so much heart and personality in it. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Ganta, how's it going, buddy? Okay, good. Just checking. Just checking on Ganta. What do you think about the amount of random encounters in this, by the way? Um, they can be kind... There are quite a lot of them, but... Also, as soon as you take off your hero costume, you don't have to worry about them, so... It's totally up to you if you if you want to have to deal with that sort of thing, I suppose. <laughs> Bow wow. So I don't think it's too big of an issue. Okay, yeah, let's um, let's deposit like oh, we'll do five k, and then we can donate. 5k. I don't really know what this is doing for me, but I'm hoping that it eventually leads us to getting upgrades of some sort. Beautiful money! True power! Yes! 
money. Yes. Cosmic power. They love money here at the bank. Who'd have thought? Sorry, I'm looking for hip pips right now. Oh, we could just use the ATM instead of talking to people. That's funny. Hilarious that the the bank has like a there's like a, the teller and the ATM and they both they both feature the same exact function. That's the sign of a good game. They're going for realism here. Just remember the first game this dev ever made for Sega being that Golden Axe game game game. game. Um, it's not too bad, but man, the random encounters can happen so often. I I wanted to try that one out on my Game Gear stream, but I um uh, wait. I just went right back here. I wanted to try that out when I did the Game Gear stream, but um, when it came down to it, I picked out too many other ones I was interested, so I couldn't get to everything. But I would like to try that one out sometime. It seems fascinating. We'll have to do the Sega Week 2.0 at some point. <laughs> Because there's still a lot of, like, Master System games and, like, um, fucking, like, the Sega 1000 or whatever the hell. I don't even know anything about that console. It's probably all very primitive games. I don't know if they'll really click with me, but you never know. That's why we do it. That's why we try things out. Back to the cream cast. <gasps> Hooray! You know what's primitive? Hi, Tenchi. What's that? Jack Hammer? He's doing his best. Leave him alone. Stone Age. <laughs> that's right. SG-1000, that's like an MSX more kind of deal. I see, I see. It's our, ba it's our main man, Jack Hammer. He's back, baby. The archaeologists suffered a disaster again. C'est tragique. It would be nice if this triggered the cancellation of the archaeological site survey, but as expected, that's not the case. Maybe I'll just have to dig a tunnel elsewhere. This is the pits! At the very least, the salvation is finally done. Isn't it good that Mama has stopped doing the roaring? However, once somebody is angry, they can stay angry for a long time, especially if you ate their fish. Well, anyway, I'm happy. Mew showed me how to express my emotions over text. Have you heard of emoticons? Check this out. Yes! Yes! Jack Hammer's in there! He's so happy! God, yes! <laughs> emoticons are fun! Remember them! Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Oh man, I love Jack Hammer. <laughs> He's so cool. Thanks to Rent a Hero, it seems we can continue the survey of the ruins. Yeah, can we get some of those in chat, please? Some of those for Jack Hammer. Let's see some of those happy emoticons going. Thank you very much. I feel bad for the construction workers, but the tunnel construction must be canceled due to the great discovery of the ancient ruin. Mm hmm. <laughs> he was so excited. I love him so much. I don't know if she'll say that. I don't know if she says characters. <gasps> Alice. Walt Abysme. Oh no, Alice. That's the sick girl. Oh no. Hi, hero. Welcome in. You have been asked to go to, to the hospital in New Dork. There, a girl named Alice has been hospitalized. The problem is that she is now missing. Her parents are worried. Please see her father to find out what happened. Oh no. Okay, let me save real quick. And then we'll get on over to the hospital. How's it going, hero? How you doing? I hope you're having a nice day. Uh, we've met Jack Hammer in person, I'm pretty sure. He works at the construction site in Cornhole. New Dork, like a take on New York. Oh, yeah. Everything is like a joke in this game. <laughs> Where's my dad? I haven't seen my dad in a while. There you are, dad. Hey, are you enjoying your life every day? Good. That's the way I view life. Son, every day should be an enjoyable day. Sometimes life gets depressing, but we have to make the best of what we have and enjoy every minute of it chat 
genuinely good advice. For real, honestly. Even on, like, dark, sad days, you gotta remember that things are okay. There's always, there's always some sort of silver lining, some sort of, um, light at the end of the tunnel to look at. And you gotta grasp for that, because if you sit there and you wallow in your depression and your despair, that that's not gonna get you anywhere. You have to be you have to be brave and challenge the future and what it holds. Okay, good talk. Good talk with your old pal G Pool and G Pool's dad. I wish you'd wear the monster costume again. Vending machine. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Damn it. I'm trying to like scan every single like object on the way to places because there's a chance we can find a secret item that lets us upgrade our stats. They're only hidden in secrets. They never just like give them out to you. So you gotta be on the lookout. Okay. Nothing in the trash. Dude, I wish this was my dad. Don't we all? <laughs> okay, Alice's room was on the second floor somewhere, so I think it was this one. That, that's Walter, right? I've been waiting for you. Please help us. Please find our daughter. Alice was afraid to have surgery, and that's why she ran away. My wife went back to the house to look for her. I'm going to check all the places she could possibly be. Please help us find her. We're counting on you. Okay, um, not much to go on, but the jams are back, so we're happy. Oh no, Alice is nowhere to be found. Alice is supposed to have her surgery today. I hope she doesn't get hurt and returns safely. Hi, Tay. Welcome in. You found one of my many alternate forms. I have three of them, ah. if you can believe that. <laughs> I've seen other people dressed like you in town. Are you trying to copy them? No. Oh, so that means that you're either the real hero or you think you're the real hero. Everybody wants to change something in their life. That's how we grow as humans. I love that this song has the ha in it. Oh, this is where we come if we get our ass kicked. Scary. <gasps> Whoa, battery. Cool. Free battery. Free bone poster. Did you see anything? The young boys will like your outfit. I think I should wear an outfit like that for young boys. True. True. It would be nice to see more women in uniform. <laughs> yeah, I've got. I've got. Um. There's. There's this one. This is girl pool. There's G Puddle, which is the little sis model, and then there's regular ass G Pool, who is standard. He's got the spiky hair and the the square goggles. You can tell them apart by their goggles. You see. Did you see anything? I'm going to guess. Um, she probably went to Cornhole. That's where we first found her. She wanted to play. And that, that seems like a, a reasonable place to go. Does Mew have any advice in particular? Missing Alice it's in Cornhole Valley. Okay, so... Thank you, Mew. I forgot Cornhole was a place. We were just there. We were just in Cornhole. Aw, uh, Hiroko's so cute. Yeah! There's only five locations in this whole world, so you'll get very acclimated to them very quickly. Cornhole! You see a little girl run through here? He looks like the fucking guy from uh, L.A. Noir. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't seen a girl named Alice. That's okay. That's okay, I forgive you, old-timer. I heard that the miss that the missing girl Alice needs heart surgery. We have to find her. Yeah, he looks exactly like that guy who makes such a scrunched up face. It's awesome. Alice! Oh, you're smart. You're smart, Walter. 
My daughter Alice liked to play at this park all the time. I wonder where she could be. Are you buried in the sand? Are you buried under the sand? Are you buried over the sand? Hey, little boy. They're having a hero show at Marshmallow Fields. I want to go. We'll get there in time. Don't worry. Because Alice is weak, she said that she wanted to see the hero that beats up the monsters on TV. Oh, okay. So we gotta go to Marshmallow. Alice liked to go to the department store. She's always going to Marshmallow Fields. I've gotten to the department store with her and her mom before. Alright, we've got a lead. Let's go help Alice. She needs to be brave and to get through her surgery. And she needs a hero like us to help her on her way. <laughs> Not now, guys. I'm trying to save a little girl who has heart problems. Have you no shame? Have you no shame? Da! Slam jam! That was a big health pack. Hell yeah. Alright. We're off, off the drive-by. We gotta go. She needs us. Hup. This, the music in this game is so good. I think the Yakuza devs should make a Rent-A-Hero game. A Ryu got Gokuto Rent-A-Hero? That'd go crazy. Is Ryu got Gokuto, like, owned by Sega? Is it is it like a Game Freak situation where, like, technically they're their own thing, but you know, you know whose pocket they're in. You know what I mean? I don't really know much about Ryu got Gokuto. What have they made besides Yakuza and Judgment, which from what I understand is very Yakuza-like? Um, what else have they made? Oh hey, you're Rent-A-Hero. Your timing couldn't be any better. You see, the problem is that our hero actor might not show up today. Oh, okay, we've, we've been through this song and dance again. Uh, but we gotta do this for Alice's sake. It's Sega-owned. Hi, Vega Baby. Hell yeah, thank you. The original producer... The producer made Super Monkey Ball? <laughs> That's crazy. The, the original producer left. Alice having Sega published Sony. Okay. It wasn't a proper thing until deeper in. Okay. So was it just like straight up Sega and then they just like made their own little development team for those games in particular? Okay. So we've, we have to do this, but we have to win really good to impress Alice or else her heart attack will happen. It was a huge gamble, but it paid off. Hell yeah. I get kicked, punched, and thrown around all day. The only people who watch are children. My body aches. Okay, we've we've done this mission before in the past without a without a girl's innocence on the line, but um I remember that guy is pretty tough. So we have to do our best to actually not get owned. We just got a phone call that our hero actor has been in a car accident. It looks like you're the hero for today. Good luck. Okay, I think this is all gonna be the same stuff we've seen before. Hi! What's going on, everyone? You guys seem sad today. I'm going to ask you again. How's everyone doing today? Yeah, yeah! Woohoo! Yippee! Wow, everyone seems to be excited now. Okay, with a big voice, let's call our hero! All right, guys, get ready. Chat, I need you to pop off. I need you to call forth your favorite hero whom you love and cherish and enjoy. Today, we have our real town hero. His name is G-Pool. If everyone calls his name, he'll be sure to hear us. Now, let's call him after I count to three. Ready? One, two, three. G-Pool! G pull, G pull, G pull, G pull, G pull, G pull, G pull. All right, I'm coming. Yow! All right, here we go again. Slam. Slam! <laughs> I 
<laughs> they make such funny noises, dude. It's awesome. G4. <laughs> G4. Yes, I'm feeling the crowd. I'm coming alive. Uh oh. Cut that out. Oh god. He's juiced up now. Now he's ready. Did we get him? There we go. There we go. Yay! We did it! First try! Well done. Thank you for helping us out. Here's the reward as promised. Okay. Thank you. Now we know who to count on for our hero show. Alice, how'd you like it? There she is. I knew she was there. Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk with her. We're gonna have a real serious heart-to-heart -heart with this poor girl. G-Pool is so cool. Bad guys don't stand a chance against those punches and kicks. I want to be as strong as G-Pool. I'm not strong now, though. What? Mommy and Daddy asked G-Pool to find me? I ran away from the hospital because I didn't want to have surgery. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. You have to be brave. You have to get through this so you can be strong. After you calmed Alice, you asked the department manager to call Alice's parents. Mommy, Daddy, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to worry. I can't believe you came here by yourself. At least you're okay. Daddy and Mommy were really worried. Don't ever do this again. It's a very somber song. This game has a phenomenal soundtrack. Every like every song that they need suits the suits all the scenes very, very well. They did a really good job with the music. Mommy, Daddy, I'm sorry. Thank you, Hero. Okay, Alice, it's time to go back to the hospital. I came here so fast I forgot to bring your reward. Please meet me at the hospital to receive your reward. Thank you. Okay. We're, we're real heroes, guys. It's not always about punching and kicking. It's about punching and kicking with your heart. I hope I didn't miss my favorite battle theme. I think it appears more rarely. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, where's the train? Over here. Hey, Mayor. Bye, Mayor. <laughs> that song's too good. That song is too good. Wait, it's over here. The hospital is over here. We punch and kick for the greater good. Exactly, exactly. We don't use our fists for injustice. We use them for... Justice. That's the way of the warrior. This normal jump is so funny. It's like so stunted. Whee! Alright, we're gonna go talk to Walter Bisme and he's gonna give us a big reward, a big kiss on the mouth. Because he's so happy that his daughter's gonna be A-OK. -okay. You guys ever been to the hospital? Weird thing to ask somebody, a crowd of people. I've never, I've never been hospitalized for anything. I'll have you know I'm quite strong. Gee, Pool, thank you for finding our daughter. Here's the reward we promised you. Hooray! My daughter Alice is in my life. In other words, you've saved my life. Hooray. Your foot was ran over by a car once and you had to go? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's scary. That's scary. You ended up being fine. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I was able to heal up. You went to hospital for a kidney stone? Ooh, I'm terrified of stuff like that. <laughs> scary. Alice has gained the strength to have her surgery after watching your hero show. I'm going to have surgery and get stronger. Do you think I'll be a hero then? Alright, I'm going to be the strongest in the world. 
Broke your arm, broke your nose, brain tumor, yeesh. I'm glad that you're getting through it all. I have to, I have to go and have surgery now. I'm a little scared, but I want to get strong like a hero. I love that it's the same bed model. Alice wants to be strong like the hero. She wants to beat this like the hero beat the bad guys. I want my daughter to have the surgery, but I'm so worried now that it's going to happen. When you were like three or four, you had to get stitches on your upper lip from a bad fall. Oh my man. Oh, three or four. That's scary. Huh. I'll make sure that this surgery is successful. We'll begin the surgery now, so I'll have to take Al Alice with me. Alice and her parents have left with the doctor. <laughs> you've, only, you've only broken one of your limbs and had to get a cast, but it was when you were very young, so after that you got pretty careful. <laughs> yeah. I was in a uh, car crash in like the third grade, so... Uh, fortunately, I was fine other than like a bump on the noggin. Nothing I had to like... I guess I did technically go to the hospital then, <laughs> now that I think about it. But it wasn't anything serious. I didn't have to like, cast up or anything. So that's good. But yeah, I guess I have gone to a hospital once. <laughs> but it wasn't for anything... It wasn't for anything tragic or harmful too much. Right now, Alice is having surgery. She says she wants to be like you. Or do I have to find her and root her on? Oh yeah, no, don't worry. Don't you worry about G Pool. You had to get stitches on your eyebrow and your lower lip. Oh, scary. Wait, what did you say? I didn't read. <laughs> I was reading chat. I hope everything goes well. My little daughter is a fighter. She'll be okay. I believe you. After a long period of time, Alice's surgery is complete. Everything has gone well. I'm so happy that Alice's surgery went well. It's because Alice had faith in herself to get better. That's why everything went well. Hooray. No, no, no. Okay, everything's all good. Alice survived. And she's stronger for it. She is sleeping. Thank you so much. It's because of you that Alice was able to gain the will to have her surgery. Funny, remember you have that car story you appeared on the radio, but then they got your name wrong? Oh my god. You almost died of asthma attack when you were a kid. Other than that, eye and ear surgeries. As a toddler. I haven't really done anything severe. Well, glad you're still here with us, Fall. Asthma is not going to get the better of you. Okay. Now we can go home. A job well done. Off to bigger and better things, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, and after that uh, that car accident in the third grade, which was completely not our fault, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Somebody ran a red light when we were passing through an intersection and slammed into us. But um, that taught me at a very young age to be careful and not live life on the edge. It's scary out there. It's so scary. battery just in case we'll need that um now we're good we're good we're good all right well, i wonder what's next for our good buddy rent a hero oh i did get like an x-ray in the seventh grade i think actually but that wasn't like like an emergency room or anything that was just i um, at in middle school, I was playing kickball and uh, I got ran into by a guy who wanted to get me out really badly, even though you can just toss the ball, but you know, whatever. <laughs> he just ran into me and I uh, hurt my knee. 
And they, the doctors chalked it up to growing pains, even though it came from a direct injury, so I'm not sure what the deal with that was, but it was fine. It wasn't anything I had to get held up for. I, they just took an x-ray and they said, yeah, you'll fine, you'll walk it off, it's fine. <laughs> I've, n I've never been I've never been held up in a hospital, I guess, but I have had instances here or there where I've had to go do things. Maybe just not the best doctors. It worked itself out, I think, for the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to stretch and stay limber, so I don't have joint issues or anything. <laughs> Those are scary too. The thought of your joints going out on you. You can't run, you can't bend and all that stuff. That sounds like hell. I don't want to go through that, so I'm gonna try my best to stay on top of things. Where, oh where, has Alice gone? It looks like she still hasn't returned home to Cornhole Valley. Maybe Alice just wanted to go somewhere nice for a while because of the length of her hospital stay, but this is much too dangerous for her. You remember reading Spider-Man comics there? Nice, nice. Oh, guys, I finished Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation 5, the new one. Um... And I can discuss Spider-Man 2. I haven't platinumed it yet. I'm going to. Don't worry. I'm going to play all the funny side stuff. But I beat the game. And if you don't want to hear about Spider-Man 2 quote-unquote spoilers, uh, close your ears, I guess. Mute the stream, but keep the street on so we can keep the vibes going. We can, we can got, gotta get those numbers up, you know? We gotta get those numbers up. I really liked it. I really liked it. I was so... I, for some, for some reason, I forgot that Venom would be a big deal of the game. I knew the symbiote was in it, but I kind of forgot. My, my whole mind going in was, was um, I was anchored towards Craven and what he had going on. I forgot that the symbiote would be such an important part, and boy howdy, when you get to the end of that game, it becomes big symbiote hell, and... I was really happy that they went for a lot of the more colorful designs, like the separation anxiety sort of symbiote looks. And they had the swirls on their face, which is a relatively new thing to the symbiotes from the more recent comic books. And I was a bit surprised that they were pulling from pulling from newer, newer source material. It makes total sense, but <laughs> I, I was just kind of surprised to see that because um, to be honest, I don't really like Null, the god of the symbiotes. I think it's a weird plot point for them, but um, yeah, yeah, I don't really like that. I don't really like that. <laughs> the Null stuff and the Carnage stuff was like fine, but Null I didn't really like. Um, but yeah, they did it well. They didn't have any of that stuff. That, when I saw the swirls in their design, I was kind of scared, but fortunately, it didn't come to that. It just had a magical rock that was sort of connecting them together for some reason or whatever. Uh, honestly, I'm glad they didn't really explain it too much because that can really ruin the mystery if you just say exactly what this magical mystery alien thing is. But they also gave Venom wings, which is also another like relatively new comic book thing. But it was really cool that they did that. I noticed that he didn't do any sort of like web swinging or anything. Um, so I was wondering how he was going to get around and stuff. And yeah, they gave him the giant cool bat wings that he gets in the later comics. Um, and then you punch him down. It's a hell of a fight. You're all over the place. Um, the symbiote stuff was just really cool. And I liked all the, um, I did not see anti-Venom Spider-Man coming at all, let alone it was like the culmination of Martin Lee and Miles Morales settling their differences because of all the horrible things Lee had done in the past, and he did everything he could to help out after he wanted to redeem himself. Oh, I'm sure they're going to make DLC for it. I know New Game Plus is coming relatively soon, um, so I'm sure there's going to be DLC for story stuff. Probably a new character, kind of like how the um, the first game had a Hammerhead DLC, which was pretty cool. I was kind of surprised they made Hammerhead scary in that game, but he's fucking terrifying when you get to the end. I hate it. I hate looking at him. That's true. I, I feel like My Miles Morales basically was DLC, so... So I, I didn't really expect anything from that one, because that, that game is borderline just a DLC of the original one. So 
I didn't really expect too much, but I'm sure Spider-Man 2, they'll do some things before that cliffhanger ending where that means Spider-Man 3 will for sure happen, and that'll be exciting. It would be cool if there's more like in-between stuff, but I don't really know who they'd focus on, what they would do for it. The ending did make me a little bit sad where Peter Parker was sort of like taking a step back from being Spider-Man so he could focus on his life and stuff, which I get that's kind of the that's kind of the general plot line of that game is that it's too much for him and Miles is like taking up the helm. But I just like Peter Parker guys and I like seeing him swing around. Yuri Lowenthal is a really good Peter Parker <laughs> and I like hearing him quip and stuff. It seems that it's all a go on Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man 3 is actually going to be Wolverine. And then that, that's going to pick up all the plot. <laughs> Tombstone being in the game too. That was really fun. I like that he was just like a go-kart guy. Um, <laughs> he was just like, he was just working at the carnival in Mysterio too. I haven't finished all the Mysterio missions yet. I got to do that. And the Sandman ones. I love how many characters were in this game. Like, um, I think Spider-Man 1 just had the Sinister Six and then Kingpin. I guess Tombstone 2. So there were eight supervillains in that one. Oh, my game went dark. But this one, they're just like all over the place. Like, Cra like Craven, Lizard, Sandman, Tombstone. Um, uh, Scorpion's there for a little bit. Vulture was like killed off screen. That's how unimportant he is. <laughs> Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Very cool. They find they made realize they can finally have a game called Spider-Man 3 that's actually beloved. Hell yeah. What's my favorite suit? Um I I'm always been partial to the Spider-Punk suit. I have always liked that one, but um I don't know. I haven't unlocked them all yet. So results are inconclusive. I really like um Miles's um I think it's the World's End costume or whatever, where he's got the he's got the the big pants on and stuff. Miles has some good costumes, um, but yeah, there's lots of cool stuff about that game. I'll I'll get back to you once I platinum it because I'm gonna keep meandering around and having fun in that world. Anyway, um, that was my Spider-Man talk. Did you enjoy it? It was very imperative I didn't play the game because I would lose my train of thought even more so had I tried to talk about that and beat up bad guys. <laughs> so thank you for bearing with me as I talk about my beloved Spider-Man. I'm excited to see what the future of that series has to offer. This is from Gabe Narco. Oh, that's the little boy who got hit with the butt of the gun in the, in the uh, bank. My injury is finally healed and I'm out of the hospital. I'm happy that I don't have to eat another bite of hospital rice, but now I feel lonely without seeing Alice every day. I'm glad her surgery was a success. Maybe when she fully recovers, I can play with her again. I hope so. Hello. I'm very grateful my daughter Alice was found safely, and I'm even more grateful that she had the courage to face her surgery head on. Thank you so much, G-Pool. The surgery was a success. I am so full of gratitude that I don't even know where to begin, except by saying thank you very much. By the way, you are the only person Alice even talks about anymore. She wishes to be as strong as you one day. So please, do your best, Rent-A-Hero. Thanks. That made me feel happy. Hi, Mew. Uh-oh, we got a family dispute. Jasmine tea. Oh, 8,000? They are the rich family, so that tracks. Jasmine tea is requesting your help to settle a dispute. Go to her residence in Hangover Park. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the most we've gotten on a mission. And we've done like we've done missions for the banks, the police, and everything. And now we're doing it for just rich woman. Alice Bisbee becoming the next Rent-A-Hero. That would be cool. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, I don't know how beloved this series is. Like, maybe it ha it's more prevalent in Japan because it did seem like they were going pretty, um, pretty whole hog on it over there. Um, but, because I know Rent-A-Hero's in Fighters Mega Mix. I know that, like, there's this game, the original game. Did They did make the Xbox port, right? I know that was going to be localized, but they canned it, but they did make that one? Or did they cancel the whole port in general? 
Um, but yeah, it would be cool, what with Sega bringing back so many of their other IPs. Could you imagine if they started hitting up the Dreamcast era? Like, fucking Ill Bleed and uh, Blue Stinger. I don't know if those are technically Sega-made games, or, or if that's just another company that made stuff for the Dreamcast, maybe. I'm, again, I'm unfamiliar on those ones super well, but I think that would be cool. I think that would be good. Jet Set Radio's coming back. Yeah, Jet Set Radio, Shinobi, um, Crazy Taxi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage. Lots of cool stuff. But really, the only one that like really kind of wowed me in the, that teeny tiny trailer they put out was the Shinobi one, just because it looked really pretty. The other ones kind of seemed just like bare bones. I, I know they were like alpha builds or whatever, so there's not a lot. But it'll be cool when we see more of them. Insane that they announced like five games at once, though. I did not play the 3DS Shinobi. I'm very un-Shinobi pilled. I did really enjoy Shinobi 3 and when we did the Genesis stream, though. So I'll probably play that one again sometime. The hand-drawn art style looks nice. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. The other ones, the other games kind of just looked like 3D. They looked like 3D and they didn't really have a lot of, like, heart and them even jet set radio looked a little bit like bland um the locations again this is all based off very very few very small tiny clips of alpha builds but it's like it's like that jet set radio in particular needs to have very loud personality into it it needs to be like it needs to blow you away it needs to be just like bright and dangerous and scary and hard to look at in the best sort of way possible <laughs> Did you play Revenge of Shinobi, but the earliest version with all the copyright infringing bosses? Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. It's gonna be one- it's all gonna be one game and be some metaverse shit. Mmm, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Maybe it could be something like that, a big Sega hub, but I don't know. We'll see. You must be the renter hero I have a request. I'd like you to settle the dispute between my sons. The embarrassing thing is that my boys are full-grown men, but yet they are still fighting. That's where you come in. I'd like you to find out why they're fighting and to settle the dispute. My boys are identical twins and they both work in Drive-By City as presidents of companies. Chai T is the president of Copy Us Company. Oolong T is the president of Microsoft Company. Again, please find out why they're fighting and make them settle this silly dispute. I've notified the boys that you're going to see them. How about you do some parenting? I mean, I gotta, I gotta work. This is the biggest paycheck we've ever had. Let's get on it! Yeah, these days I, I don't really get hyped up too, too much about gaming stuff. Like, like... I don't know. Even, um, I remember when they announced Mega Man for Smash Brothers, people were looking at me like, Oh my god, look, Jeepool, are you so excited? Look, look, Mega Man, look, and I was like, Okay, that's cool. I'm happy for him. And then Mega Man 11 came out, and I was like, that's cool. That's nice. But I don't get, like, that hype about stuff like that. Slam jam. The cat's hovering on her lap. Yeah, that's Dreamcast for you, baby. You're excited about both of those things? Oh, I, I was still excited, but I, I don't know. I, I've never like, I've never like jumped for joy and pogged out of my gourd over like, like video game announcements or whatever. I don't think. I usually take my time getting to stuff. I guess because growing up. My family was always kind of behind on the times with our games and stuff, so even if a new game came out, I, I like, we didn't even have the console to play it on to begin with, so I wouldn't, like, really look too into it or whatever. I'd just be like, okay, new video game. Neat. Cool. Very easy to hype up, is what you're saying. Oh, okay, I see. That's good, though. It's good that you can feel such passion in your heart. Hello, Rent the Hero. Mrs. T has called us to set up an appointment for you. Mr. T's office is on the second floor. 
Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Are you the real Renta hero? Wow, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. He's walking on his own, gamers. You would have pogged out of your gourd for Beyond Good and Evil 2, but Ubisoft has done so much damage to their reputation that you don't care anymore. Yeah. Like, um... Like, you just, you just never, you never know what you're gonna, what you're gonna see, what you're gonna get. So I, I generally keep my expectations low until I actually get something in my hands. So that way I'm rather, I'm rather pleasantly surprised than overhyped something. You know what I mean? Rent-a-hero? Yes, my mother called earlier to let me know that you were coming. That chai will never change. He always, he has always been after the girls I date. No matter how much I hate it, he's still my older brother. I should apologize to him. I need to ask a favor of you. Can you take this to my brother chai and copy us? Tropical juice? Tell my brother that I'm sorry for fighting and take this gift as part of an apology. This is my brother's favorite tropical juice. This should smooth things over. I bet Chai will chug this drink, then go right to the bathroom. I know my brother too well. After my brother goes to the bathroom, check his pants. You'll get a kick out of it. Huh? Pardon? Damn pervert. Hi, Kyrick. How's the heroing? It's going great. My rental fee is due soon. Oh, no. I'm not going to check his pants unless the game won't let me leave without checking his pants. In which case, then I might have to check his pants. But we'll get to that when we get to that, okay, everybody? Okay, great. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Glad we're all on the same page. You sure this is a high reward mission? 8K! 8,000 gold! It don't get much higher than that. Metroid Dread might have been another one, mostly because of how long he was in development hell, but managed to deliver. I want to play that Metroid Dread. I want to play that Metroid Dread. I love, love, love the other Metroids, and, like, that was one, for a very long time, I was, I, like, I've never really played the Prime game, so I've never been in the Prime 4 camp, but I have been waiting for a long time for, um, Me a Metroid 5, but when it came out, I was like, oh, yay, hooray, Metroid, new Metroid, new 2D Metroid, that's awesome. <laughs> But then I didn't play it. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> My friend told me he'd let me borrow it, so I don't even have to pay for it. I just have to get around to it. I guess I'll stream it for you guys if you'd like that. If you'd like that. I am the hero, and I'm here. I love how the offices are, like, exactly the same. I guess they are twin brothers. But he wears green. Rent-a-hero? Yes, my mother called earlier to let me know that you were coming. I can't make up with Oolong. He stole something very important to me. What? Oolong feels bad and he wants to apologize? Does he really want to make up? I can't believe he got me my favorite tropical juice. I see. That, Oolong. I can't really forgive him for what he's done, but... He's my little brother, and he is apologizing, so I guess I can forgive him. Before I forgive him, though, I'll indulge in this tropical juice he has given me. Wow! Good computer brand. Dread looks good gameplay-wise, you just feel visually it's a bit bad. Yeah! Yeah, I just... I'm just a 3D hater a lot of the time. <laughs> I want 2D sprites and pixels and hand-drawn animation. I want that. I know that's hard work. I know it's hard to do. 3D is so universal, so easy to work with. It's so good. I say that as a 3D model, but I just think 2D games look awesome. I think 2D games are awesome. Wow. You do think it looks more washed out than Metroid 2 3DS remake, wow. but it was really good. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the gameplay and everything is really good. Like, really, really good. But I just I just like 2D games. <laughs> I just like 2D games. Wow. <laughs> That's the most refreshing tropical juice ever made. Ilya, you're the best. You're the best, um... You're the best 3D modeler in the world, okay? Don't let anyone wow. tell you otherwise. Keep up the good work. 
Oolong knows me too well. Wow. He sure does know how to make me feel better. I'll have to forgive him. Please inform him that I, too, would like to resolve this dispute. Tropical juice is my favorite. The only thing is, it's rare to find. It has been so long since I've had the tropical juice, I'm going to forget this whole incident. Please tell Oolong that I'm sorry, too. Okay. But we didn't get to see his pants. His pants. Uh-oh, here we go. I drank that juice way too fast. I'm sorry, but I have to go to the bathroom. Hup, 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 There he goes. And down the way he goes. <laughs> Sweet, dude. Okay, time to snoop around. Whoa, he's got mini golf. Pee wow. pee. Wow. Pee pee. I don't see his. I don't see any pants anywhere. I hope he didn't leave them in the fucking hallway. Ah, watch out! Oh. You might get what you're after. Go, cool. baby's strange, but not a stranger. I'm an ordinary guy burning down the house. Thanks, Thrash. He went to the man's room. <laughs> we got good potty humor. We got. Fuck, look at, look at that. Look at the man sign for the bathroom. <laughs> That's very funny. He's this little flexing bald baby. Man. That was really good. I drank it too fast, though. You remembered what Chai told you and checked Oolong's pants. You have checked his pants. His zipper was wide open, and he was wearing a colorful floral patterned underwear. <laughs> You've seen more than you can handle! What? My pants are zipped? Oh no! You can see my flowers! <laughs> oh, I can't believe they had a fucking custom, like, pants unzipped model for that. I always forget to zip up because I'm always running around. That Oolong knew about that and had you witness it. If that's how he wants to play this game, then please give this to him. I don't like what, <laughs> what I <the> saw. <laughs> oh, holy shit! <laughs> what is this? He's like the fucking sunscreen girl. <laughs> oh my fucking god! He just has that on him all at all on the ready in case he has to troll his brother at any time. This is the coolest fucking video game ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. This is things that brothers do. Oolong will probably flip out when he sees this picture. That guy took my lovely paprika sweet away from me. I can't forgive him. Oh wow. Oh wow 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, now we have... We're just gonna keep going back and forth between the two brothers, I guess. Showing cool trolling moments between the two of them. It's gonna cause more problems than it's worth. He keeps that thang on him. His incriminating evidence against his brother and his ass. Yes, I am the real rent -a hero I know. <laughs> El Presidente, I've seen your ass. <laughs> Sweet dude. What the? Where did you get that picture? That's an old family picture. I was just taking a stroll on the beach and some crazy dog bit my pants off. I can't believe he let you see that picture. He's going down. He says that you stole his girlfriend. Wait, that... Uh -huh, what? Translation error. That idiot. I don't know a paprika. He's going crazy. Chai took my important ginger sweet away from me. I saw the two of them together on a date the other day. They were close and holding hands. That close up of his unzipped pants is like burnt into your retinas. <laughs> I'm going to call up that idiot. Ooh, 
Oolong, you idiot. I can't believe you. I'll never forgive you for this. Meet me out front. I'm calling you out, fool. You better be there, chicken. Oh, they're gonna rough each other up. He slammed that shit down. I just wanted to talk it out with him, but now we have to settle this with violence. Hero, come with me as a bodyguard. I'll pay you. I'll pay you up front. Whoa, cool. Money. Okay, I'll follow you. Remember to protect me at all times. Not very manly if you need a body. Oh, fuck! No! Ultra salary man! How oh, did you get caught up in this mess? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> what the? That guy has a rent a hero as well, that wuss! I can't believe you'd get a rent a hero. Let's do this then. We'll have the heroes fight each other to decide the outcome. Whoever's hero wins will win the girl. The one who loses gives up the girl. Ultra Salary Man is going to win. I want my sweet paprika back. My rent a hero is going to win and get my ginger back for me. Yeah, they both have stands. This is an insane scene. Shut up. Let's do this. Bring it. Rent a hero. Hasn't this city ever heard of Slam Tank Pool? <laughs> Junior the pool. Hero That's what I've been saying, Thrash. They got all these funny guys like Ultra Salary Man running around and everything. But, oh well, they'll, they'll, they'll find me. They'll figure me out eventually. Hi, Lily. Welcome in. Lily, this game is so cool. You gotta play this sometime. It's, it's called Rent the Hero Number One. It's so much fun. It's very funny. I've laughed out loud like six times today. <laughs> this is Ultra Salary Man. He's another rent a hero, but I guess we have to fight him. You already got your money, so there's no backing out, right? Well, let's settle this once and for all then. I'm not going to hold back. Oh god, we actually have to fight another hero? This is tragic. Oh, I can't believe we're fighting on behalf of the brothers. Oh, he can do the moves I can do! No way! But we can slam him, so it's fine. I... Whoa, 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 whoa. You got five moves? I gotta, I gotta fucking train with Sakata. He, he's showing me what I'm missing. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> he's so strong. Cut it out, guys. What good will it do if two heroes fight each other? That's right. You're so right, Hiroko. Your job is to help the brothers make up, not to fight each other. Ultra Salary Man, you should know better because you're older. Cool it and shape up now. You're right, Renta Hiroko. I'm out of here. My job is finished. Okay, bye. Damn, that was so scary. Oh man, this doesn't help settle things. I guess we're going to have to fight each other. All right then, we'll settle this, but without violence. I'm not a violent man like you, so I'll use my head and voice to destroy you. You're the one at fault for causing this whole situation. What? This is all your fault. You took my girl away from me. Oh, and they're fighting with violence after all. I'm gonna eat a meal. I'm gonna eat a big rice burger real quick. I like this song a lot. <laughs> Alright. I hear it go. Oh! We somehow got into a random encounter in that tiny little footstep we took. Damn. I love doing the bicycle kick. It's so cool. Oh. Youch. I hope we can upgrade our combo game. We gotta talk to Sagata. He's the one that teaches us all of our moves. And I would like something that's a little more than the three-hit combo. These guys are idiots. They're brothers, but they don't act like brothers. They're fighting over a girl. All we have to do is find this girl. 
that's it. I can't deal with you anymore. Hero, I need you to tell something to my mother. I'm going to disown my brother. Tell my mother that I no longer have a brother. I'm going to teach Chi a child lesson. Okay, well, where is that girl? What does Mew have to say? Go to the drive-by city, talk to the twin brothers, having a family dispute. You must settle the dispute. One is the person who has a dispute. Okay, we gotta find female. The last thing we want is to tell their mother that the they're in a fight and we're supposed to be breaking it up. Unless that's what the game wants. Sometimes that's how game progression works in this game. You go and talk to somebody and they're like, Oh, heavens to Betsy. Yeah, one's called Ginger and one's called Paprika. So there's definitely some shenanigans going around. There's some skullduggery afoot. Ah, shotgun man! I hate the shotgun man. Bam! There's Tom Fullery, there's Skull Duggery. So much is going on. Ah, oh, dang it. The Terminator or the guy from the end of Scarface? Probably both. Ooh, a free battery. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, that's Shotgun Man. Classic character Shotgun Man. Where did you come from, sir? Hi! Look, there's the mayor. He's always working hard to make sure this place stays peaceful. Now I'm gonna see if Mama knows anything about their girlfriend. Because I don't think she knew what the situation was. She just knew that they're mad at each other. So that seems like a reasonable call. Ah. <laughs> you almost got it on time, Thrash. One of these days you'll nail it. Ha! Just like that. Hi, kids. Stay in school. Hi, hi. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Hey, Mama. Your boy's got bad blood in them. What? They will not settle this stupid dispute? I can't believe that a woman has ruined our family. Chi's partner. Chai's partner is named Paprika Sweet. She lives in Cornhole Valley. Find her and tell her what's going on. Okay. Thank you. That was helpful information. I'm glad I made the right call. Now we gotta go to Cornhole. We gotta go talk to Paprika Sweet. Or whatever her name was. I already forgot. Paprika something. It's such an earworm, dude. I can't help it. I can't help but cat jam every single time it comes on. Ha! <laughs> Alright, let's go to Cornhole. Let's go talk to some sweets. Let's get this whole situation figured out. I assume she's going to be in the residential area. And we'll be able to talk to her. We'll be able to get her number. She'll date us instead of those two brothers. And they'll have to fight me instead. And they'll tag team and that'll... What? what? Huh? Huh. They got all kinds of critters out here. Need a hero's opinion about my garden. Come back when you're when it's ready. Okay. Aha! Rent a hero. Can I help you? Whoa, she's pretty. I'm prep. I'm paprika sweet. How can I help you? Che is fighting with his brother, and I'm the reason. 
I've been seeing Chi for a while now, but I've never met Oolong. What? Oolong's girlfriend is named Junior. Oh my god, it's a it's twin on twin. Oh my god. It can't be, but that's what it can only be. Ginger! Hey Ginger! No way. It's the exact same model. We're identical twins. Hey Ginger, what's your boyfriend like? He's the president of Macrosoft. His name is Oolong T. He's the best. Chai and saw humana, Oolong humana, and Ginger humana. on a date and thought that I was you. <laughs> humana, humana, humana. <laughs> They're confused. Please tell Chai T about us immediately. We'll go to them as well. Hooray, we've got the twins in our pocket. The sweet twins in the sweet home. The sweet life of Zack and Cody. Alright, this is what being a hero is all about. I really like jumping to the beat. It's very fun. It makes me feel happy. It makes me smile, a great big smile. <gasps> Free battery. Now I can do all sorts of skullduggery. Damn, that nearly one-shot them. That's pretty good. Oh. oh my god, he got me in his denim jeans. Unbelievable. Hey, uh, I, I was thinking about this earlier. Fellow, um, streamers or content creators or etc, etc, etc. I don't, I can't bring myself to like stream in pajamas or whatever, or quite frankly do like anything productive in my pajamas. I feel like dirty and I'm not prepared to like handle any sort of situations unless I'm properly like dressed and whatnot, cleaned up and everything. Do you guys stream in your PJs or do you have to go through the processes of like getting ready like you're almost like you're going to work or something? Because I I can't really do PJ streaming as hard. It, it, it makes me feel, like, dirty. <laughs> what? The sweets are identical twins like us? What? That means that it wasn't Ginger with Chai the other day. What? That means it wasn't Paprika with Oolong as well? I can't believe it. I always wear a tux. You'll stream in your PJs? Oh, man. Oh, I just, I just don't feel like I'm ready to do stuff. You need to tie your hair back to get focused. That makes sense. You wear the same stuff in the house all the time anyway. I feel you. But like, even if I'm just going to like draw or something, like a lot of times, I just don't like being in my pajamas all day because then it's like, they're not pajamas anymore. They're just regular clothes and they don't, they don't serve the purpose of sleepwear anymore. They're just wear wear. And it's weird. It takes me out of it. I, I have to be in like a mental state to properly like be funny, I guess, you know? It's true, we're the identical twins as well. Please, Chai and Oolong, stop this fighting. We were completely mistaken. I'm sorry, Chai. What are you talking about? Anybody would have made the same mistake. Chai, forgive me. Oolong, I'm sorry, brother. Great job, you've succeeded in stopping the fight. Ciao, ciao! Bye-bye, Hiroko! I love you! I love this song, it's so goofy. Please tell my mother that we've made up and everything is okay now. Sounds like a plan. The dispute is over. What are the odds of two pairs of identical twins dating each other without even knowing about it? Yeah, everything is like a leap motif of the main theme, and that's really cool to me. <laughs> All the music in the game is like just remixes of each other. I think that's awesome. Well, not this song, but um, most songs, most like overworld songs are like remixes and whatnot. I think that's really cool. 
slam. Oh, shotgun man. Damn, we just dodged the bullet by the skin of our teeth. Just gotta go talk to old Mrs. T and then we'll get our biggest, fattest reward yet, gamers. I kind of want to go to, um, the Seika base, and we can, we can see about, uh, upgrading our BT even more. That was us getting a cool kiss. We're in there, gamers. Getting the big kiss. They've settled their dispute, ma'am. Hey, Dubious, how's it going? Well, who would have thought that my sons were going out with identical twins? Thank you for everything. Please take this reward. 8,000 gold. A family should not fight with each other. They should fight together. I'm glad that the T family is back together. Bye. And I just leave. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey there, big boy. I'm with the Dynamite Dogs. My name is Gloria Games. <laughs> I like the guy on the right. Like, he's got the shorts and the big goggles and a mustache. They're swagged up. Nice to meet you, baby. Do you like girls like me? Uh, but she, she's a, she's with a gang. But that's evil. But, but, but she's so beautiful. But, but she's evil. She's villainous. She's got the heart. Ugh, t t t t no, no. You have no taste in women, or maybe you don't like girls. Don't do do You've been busy, rent a hero. I introduced myself to everyone. Did you know that you're in our way, hero? Doodly bull! Alright, boys, let's teach this hero a lesson. Oh, we've got a lot of health. You guys got a lot of health, huh? Whoa! Doodly's freaking out! What the? <laughs> what was that noise? What is Doodly making? What the? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I wasn't prepared for a super boss fight outside the two family house. <laughs> that noise is so good. Oh god. I need some distance so I can use my level 3. That'll do a hell of a lot to him. We gotta be able to get it off. Oh god. Whoa. What? Oh, we almost got him. Oh, 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 we're still in there. We're still up. We're still up. We're still up. No! Damn it! Ah, uh, Lofkey! Thanks for this. Thanks for five months of subscription. Holy moly. Thank you. Oh, man. I was not ready for super boss time. You lost to the dynamite dogs. We are the best. Hi, Washa. I just got hospitalized. We lost so much money. No, I was about to go to the fucking ah! Oh, congrats. Thank you. We still have 9,000 gold. That's still a lot. We should upgrade our silly combo though. And why don't, why doesn't it show our charge moves when we have charge moves? That's so strange. Weird. G poor. I finally found the huh? one piece treasure. What? I'm going to retire from being a pirate. Congrats, Thrash. You've been looking for that for a while now, but. Oh, hey, Mew. You've been beaten by the dynamite dogs, but you were able to resolve the family dispute. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me that I've beaten the dynam. I've been beaten. My ass kicked. Unfortunate. Man, I was at like half health going the in that fight. Was the friends we made along the way. <gasps> Whoa. Thrash, you're so real for that. Now what? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the narco boy. I'm glad to see that you're healthy again. I'm so happy to see Gabe is finally able to leave the hospital. Good for you, Gabe. Little man. I really wanted to stay longer, but I'm in perfect health, so I have to leave. My ride is here, so I have to go to the bistro skip to eat now. Cool. <laughs> He's off to go eat a big meal. We're not allowed there anymore. We got kicked out. Gabe has not only gotten better physically, but he's improved emotionally as well, thanks to Alice. Gabe's father has not come once to visit him. He's a terrible father. Damn. I know. My bank's got it covered, don't worry. We can still get at least like one more energy tank upgrade, right? Almost, Thrash. You were close that time. You were close that time. You almost got it. Time to go use the toilet. Everybody's favorite. Father! I, f I always forget the music's so scary down here. Nice. Uh, if we get a little more, we could buy another energy tank. I'm surprised they don't, like, go up. It doesn't go up in value. <gasps> New armor! Whoa! Sweet. So we got... Whoa, that's a lot more BT. Whoa, cool. It's got red on it and shit. Hell yeah. I have so much more health now. Holy shit. I wish I had that like three minutes ago. <laughs> okay. So let's go. I want to go to the school, so if we can talk to Mr. Sanchiro and see if we can learn some new moves. He seems to be the only place we can go to learn new techniques, or learn more combat styles. And I'm a little over silly combo. I want something with a little more panache or pizzazz, you know? But we just got a new combat suit, so we're ready for anything. Yeah, we gotta go wish him a happy birthday. Hello. Hey, buddy. It's his birthday, Mr. Sagata Sanchiro. You're the hero. I was wondering if you would challenge me in a friendly sparring match. All right. Oh my god. Starting off strong. Starting off out of the gate. Oh, we're much stronger than him. We're much stronger than him. We should have been doing this a while ago, I feel. Damn, he's playing footsie with me, dude. Whoa! Okay, there we go. Hooray! Oh man, you're a true hero. Since I lost, I'll show you my combo fighting style. All right, what, what did we learn this time? Whoa, big combo, hell yeah, now we're talking. 
all striking combo. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, wait, wrong side. Well, our popularity is great. He is the rider of skill, so having the sh movement is fair. That's true. Damn, we went from silly combo to front kick to quick kick. Now we're an all striking combo. Why doesn't this stuff like up get updated in my status? Oh, there, now it is. What the hell? Strange. Attack 15, defense 13. Popularity, great. Do you have any other techniques you can teach me? Hell yeah. Now we get to test out our brand new moveset. Holy shit, <laughs> we're so strong. This game is so good. Look how big my bar is on the bottom there. We can do all sorts of magic here. Oh god. Okay, come here. <laughs> they never see the beam sword coming. Okay, what else you got for me? What is what's this technique? That's pretty good. The roundhouse combo. Sweet. Anything else? Alright, I guess we could have been coming to him much more periodically. But we were just sticking with our three-piece combo for a while. Whoa! Holy smokes. Aww. Hey, Ness, how's it going? We're gaming out of our gourd right now. We're learning from the master. Happy birthday, Sagata Sanshiro. And he's teaching us all these different cool fighting styles. Ooh. The piston punch combo. Cool. Maybe we'll give that a try. Jab, jab, body upper, swing, swing, finish. I like that this one goes for punches and kicks, but I'll try out the piston punch just to see. We can, we can have an energy drink too. We've earned it. We've been working hard with, with the master. But yeah, as long as he still wants to teach us, I'll, I'll keep tussling with him. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> He's so cool. Oh. Okay, that's uh seems to be about the same. Whoa, he got me! Oh, he broke out. Bam! Sagata's birthday, but he's gifting you with his knowledge. What a great guy. He loves the sport. He loves to fight. Alright. We may have been sleeping on Sagata's training for a little while. Bam. The uppercut combo. Nice. Got anything else for me, sir? Of course he does. We just have to keep fighting him over and over, showing him our best. Whoa! He fucking did the shadow step on me. There you go, buddy. Down for the count. I can't believe you beat me right now. You won seven times, I lost zero times. Okay, so he's tapped out of new moves. Um, I think I like... <laughs> I think I like the all-striking combo. We might try the roundhouse one at some point, but I like this one. I like how it felt. That was so cool. We've got so many new moves in our arsenal. Our suit's powered up. So we can actually use, um, we can use our, our super moves without fear. Normally using the level three with like more than half of our bar. So it was something I was very hesitant to pull out, but now we're ready for anything. Shichue. Sigata Sanshiro. Sigata Sanshiro. Seika Saturn. 
Shiro. Shiro. We'll buy a couple of things here. Now we've actually got um slots to fill up. Yeah, so I'll get a couple of C batteries. Nice. 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 All right, let's go back home. But we've got a, we've done a lot of things. We've put away so many bad guys. We've upgraded our stats finally. I was a little worried about that, but we were finally able to upgrade all of our stats thanks to donating and whatnot. So we've got a super strong armor. We've got better combos. We really are becoming a super cool and awesome hero. I mean, I've always been a super cool and awesome hero, but... <laughs> Thank you for the head pat scratching, way. Welcome in. Alright. Check the mail. <gasps> Jack! This one's, this one's not even redirected from you, it's just from Jack. Yes, Jack Hammer, I love him so much, dude. <laughs> now I'm now I'm super school hero on the outside of the dip always been in my heart. That's true. Emoticons are very fun. I feel a bit depressed because the tunnel construction was cancelled. Hope Seca isn't having a hard time too. Cheer up! Woo! We all support Rent the Hero here. Au revoir! Jack is the coolest character in anything ever. <laughs> he's the coolest. <laughs> oh man, he's become a master. Look, from Jasmine T. It seems the family feud between my sons has finally settled. Thanks, G Pool. But still, to think my boys would fall in love with girls from the same pair of twins. What are the odds? Thank you, G-Pool. It's all because of you that I've made up with Chai. From now on, the two of us are going to work together as brothers and get along. I'm, I'll work things out with Ginger as well while we're at it. Nice. They spent the most time on Jack's character arc. They had to. They had to. It's Jack Hammer. He's so funny. <sighs> Alright. That's a good place to call it for today. We've made a lot of progress. I'm really, really excited to see what happens next. I feel really confident in my skills and my abilities, and that's awesome, honestly. Um, so yeah, we're going... I already know who I'm going to raid because Mr. Pig is having a birthday party and after I um, after I like get some dinner and stuff I'll be joining over there too so stick around stick around through the raid and, and help Mr. Pig celebrate his birthday party I'll be over there soon enough after we raid and I eat some dinner but I'll also be back tomorrow um, this is a big week of finales. Um, tomorrow night at 9, we're finishing Phoenix Wright. Holly and I are finishing Case 5. Wednesday at 2, Ray and I are finishing Silent Hill 2. Friday at 9, we're finishing Castlevania. And I don't know how much is in Rent-A-Hero. Maybe we'll finish that, maybe not. I don't know. Probably not, honestly. I feel like there's still some meat on this, on this bone here. So, but everything else we should for sure be finishing. So look forward to a lot of finales this week. Um, that's gonna be it for me. So let me throw out my links if you'd like to join the Discord where we hang out and have a lot of fun. Um, you can get pinged when I go live on twitch.television. Um, Pog, very Pog, very Pog indeed. Um, where, there's Mr. Pig, Mr. Piggy Mouse. Um, yeah, so let me get that set up. It looks like, um, they just went live, so. Time to go, um, raid Mr. Piggy Mouse. And happy birthday, Pig Piggy. Ho ho ho. There's our raid message. B 
be be nice, be courteous, have fun with Mr. Pig. Um, and yeah, we'll pick up more Rent a Hero next Sunday. But tomorrow is the finale of Ace Attorney with Holly Heck Maybe, whom I love and adore. And I'm sure you all know Holly Heck Maybe. You can't not know Holly Heck Maybe if you're around here. I really don't. I really don't foresee that. But she's awesome. She's cool. She's one of my bestest friends I've made on this funny little platform that we found ourselves on. So. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with Mr. Pig, so hey, sit tight, be good, be wholesome, be courteous, and I will see you over there, everybody. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye!